All right, what is up? How are we doing? Hopefully you guys are having a good Friday night. We are back at it. This time with cash game action. 510, no limit hold'em. Cash action we got going for you tonight. You got myself, Ryan, also known as Country. Joined by card room manager, Best Bet Orange Park, Mike Kruger with us. Mike, what's up, man? How are you? I'm pretty excited to be here. It's fun walking through the room, buzzing the air with the main event going on. Yeah, almost 180 entries in day 1B today. So far. So far. We still have the dinner break to go, which registration will stay open during the dinner break. And, uh, yeah, excited for uh, cash game action. We've been uh, doing a lot of tournaments, obviously, with the Run Good Poker Series that's uh, here in town. Uh, but, uh, yeah, here we are back at it with some high stakes. 5-10, no limit hold'em action. And, uh, oh, boy, here we go right out of the gate. Don E, pocket kings, four betting at the 375. And then John C here with 10 is going to put in the call. Here we go, early fireworks. Nine, queen, nine, flop. to see Don check it there. Yeah, downplaying uh, his uh, kings here. Maybe trying to rip it. He has something like ace king. You see John throw out 400 with his tens. Yeah. Don gonna go ahead and flick in the call. Not gonna quite do a check raise yet. Still wants to keep the trap spung. However, ace on the turn. Now Don gonna check it again. He's gonna check around. Seven of hearts on the river. Yeah, John, probably pretty aware his hand's no good, obviously. He was betting that flop, hoping Don had ace king, ace jack. Ace coming on the turn is not what he wanted to see. Yeah, so, yeah Don immediately betting 600 and John letting it go. So Don scoops up the first pot of the live stream. Don coming in with 8K in this uh, in this cash game. It's a little more than I think he's came in with before for a 5-10 game. I want to say he usually comes in for about 5K or so. So seeing him coming in with 8K is uh, pretty interesting. The really, last couple of times the 5-10 game uh, immediately turned into 5 10 25, so mm -hmm. maybe he thought it was going to get a little crazy route of the gate just yeah. the ships on rather and, than adding on. In, in other words, he was preparing for Todd L to be in the game. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> Especially seeing who L is out there in the field in this main event. A lot of uh, best bet regulars who tend to splash around in the cash game streets. Yeah. You know, maybe if some of them busted out, jumped into this game, it could have gotten a lot crazier. Right. Yeah, for sure. I want to say uh, Dean in C uh, 7, the one in the red hat there, I want to say he also kind of came in for 8K as well. By the way, what a fantastic name, Donkinado. And then Sam. <laughs> Same hand, king, queen, offsuit. Puts in the three bet. And you kind of hear Don say, what a start. <laughs> and Sam gonna take it down with the, free, with the three bet. Yeah, Donkinado didn't wanna maybe necessarily take that hand out of position post flop. Sam out of the big blind, Donkinado out of the small blind. I'm going to say hey to some of the YouTube regulars. Steve, what's up? Good to see you. Miss Deb, good to see you as well. Also, the Golden Blazer says, excited to watch the boss man, Tana. Referring to uh, Karn there in seat eight. White hoodie, backwards cap. One of the main figureheads of Run Good. That is uh, playing in this cash game tonight. And you can see that hoodie is wearing uh, no gamble, no future. We're going to see that boss man get to work. Ace King suited. Raise it up. John put in the call. Get around the Dean in the big blind. He'll put in the call, closing in action with Jack 10 suited. Eight, King, seven, two hearts. The action flop here. Dean with a gut shot, plus plus draw. Karn top top, and John C open ended. Just see if anybody wants to raise over Karn C bet. So far, just call the call. Yeah, so I think action's back on Dean. Yeah, you can see him thinking about it there for a minute. He's just going to put in the call. There's always a chance that John C is calling with a stronger plus draw, and wow. Oh boy. Flush right on the turn for Dean. Yeah. With the royal redraw, just in case. <laughs> just in case. 
I just want to check around the entire way and then a blank deuce of clubs on the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see. Dean, but for some value. Let's see if he can target the ace king type hands. Instead, he's going to play it coy and check it. Well, he might go for a value bet there since the checker on a turn, but instead. That's going to be Karn that's going to go ahead and bet. Yeah. John, let's go of his hand. Goes with a big size on check raise. Go small instead, just trying to eke out, eke out some value here. And yeah, another 275 for Karn to call, a pot of 1255. And just over a min click back. Mm -hmm. Pretty aware he's got locked up. Hard for Karn to have a flush. He opened pre flop. And obviously, you're blocking the ace jack and ace 10 suited, so. Yeah, he's going to put in the call. Gets the maximum there. Boy, dude, what's up? Also, good uh, good to read that news, man. Glad to hear you got good news uh, with your doctor visit today. Says he's going to swing by OP tomorrow, Mike, playing that $100 right. tourney. Well, good luck to you, Bowling dude. Hope you come back with some good stories for us. Mm -hmm. Me too, dude. I'm playing a lot of volleyball, too. It's volleyball season. season coming up. Yeah. It was raining today, though, wasn't it? Yeah. So we it is the uh, first day of spring, so, uh, yeah, I'm guessing... Uh, so Volleyball season is going to be ramping up for Don here soon. You playing? Oh, okay. I was going to say you playing tomorrow. Uh, all depending on the weather. I mean, it's depending Don on the there. weather. For anybody else familiar, in the three seat. Not looking. The only one who looks like he can play volleyball every day. <laughs> uh, Especially at this table. I think us in the booth included. Yes. I'm not not yes. picking on the players. We might be worse off than the rest of them. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, Perry. I'm putting in the raise to 35 with Queen 9 offsuit. I'm going to three bet with the King 10 off from the small blind. I see Perry put in the call. So heads up, they will go to the flop. Down the Queen high. Good for Perry. Flopping top pair. Saw Dean just check it over. Not putting out the continuation bet. Perry clicks in some chips. We see Dean snap full before it counts even needed. Carson and I ended up not faulting on Monday. No problem. It was very wet outside. Yeah. <laughs> it was wet, and he said, Do you want to go a different day this week? I'm like, I work six days this week. <laughs> busy time for everybody. It's been a very fun, busy week here. It has. Full of good events, capping off with this main. It's been electric. Oh, that Ambassador event Tuesday drew in a ton of people. It, it, yeah, it did. Very long uh, night. And we end up getting out here at uh, 3 a.m. All right, here we go. Ace King, pocket jacks. Karn has a pretty nice suited hand here with Queen Nine. Originally saw Don open, and then Sam put in the three bets. Now both options for Don. He goes with the aggressive action with all those callers behind. Yep. Oh, there's Sam. It's a chunky four bet out of Don. Made it 700 to go. A ton of dead money in there. What was the chance he's squeezing a little bit lighter? Since there's two callers in between, Sam's going to put in the call. Sam will have the benefit of playing in position against Don as they go heads up to the flop. One over card to the Jacks, but not the one that connects with Don when it comes queen high. See if Don wants to put out a continuation bet, though. Similar to what we did with Kings not too long ago. Checks it over. Sam's going to check it back. Trey on the turn. Just remember a few hands ago, we saw Don check an over pair on a queen high board. Played it similar up till now. 
Although in that hand, we saw a flop bet from his opponent, so hard to believe that he has an overpair here for Sam. So that's why we're going to see him bet out about half pot size bet, 700. Yeah, Sam, who was uh, one of the players to, that was excited to get into this live stream tonight, was able to get in. Don uh, is going to go ahead and click the all-in button with his uh, ace high right now, bluffing a, at it. Yeah, representing a monster. Yeah. No snap call, good news. He said no snap call, good news. I mean, there's a diamond draw out there, which Don is holding the ace of diamonds. Wow, and Sam flicks in the call. You have anything? All right, so I'm going to run it twice. <laughs> so Jax hold the first time. And Jax hold the second time. So Sam scooping up a pretty decent-sized pot there. Yeah, good call on that turn shove. Wow. Never easy when there's a chance you're only drawing to two outs. Right. <clears throat> Sam fought it through. You know, if Don has aces or kings, he's almost never checking both flop and turn. So maybe Sam just says, well, it's either queens or nothing, so... I like my chances. Yeah, I want to say Sam came in for like 2,500 or something like that. So that is the good news that it's not a super big hit Don has taken, but still a hit nonetheless he's taken. And uh, for the past few live streams, Don's had a pretty rough go at it. He's been able to give away a percentage of Don earnings in quite some time. Yeah. And as of now... Doesn't look like it's going to be the case at the moment. But it's still very young. We're only 15 minutes into this live stream. Speaking of, uh, we're about two minutes remaining in our last level before the dinner break of our day 1B of our main event. 179 entries in today's day 1B. I think yesterday we had 59 entries. So as uh, Mike was alluding to, we could be hitting that uh, half mil in the prize pool by the time day 1C ends on Saturday. Yeah, I'll take the over. You guys let me know what kind of odds I can get. Mm -hmm. March Madness in full effect. I'm looking at overs and unders recently. There you go. It's in my head. Which again, Kentucky uh, getting bounced again. I just gave it all. I had more. Yeah, speaking of bounce again, again. A lot of big hands here. Game. Sam with ace queen. After he you know three bets it. Yeah, pretty light. Back around the, uh, to Don Nato. Yeah, Don Nato, I think, is getting too good of a price. Nah, yep, yeah, he is bet. gonna be put in the four bet. Four bet, six hundred. A lot of pre-flop action. A lot of big hands too. Right, yeah. Really spices it like up when you know they go three bet, call, call. But I just got here. Yeah, they called me. I want it now. Which means I won't get it until like midnight. When it's over. Thank you for your time. I think you'll. So, four bets gonna get done for Donk Nato as everybody else let it go. Yeah, again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll take tonight's live stream to at least. 11 a.m. tonight. 11 p.m. I thought. 11 p.m. is what I meant. <laughs> We're on all the way to the morning. I mean, listen, the way the way the way, the way it's kind of been. It's one of those. It's like might as well. So the break of dawn, yo. Yep. I mean, I'd be down. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down too. Wow, pocket jacks are out there again. This time for Karn. Puts in the raise to 75. Couple of callers. Yep, Perry's in there. Pocket tens. Don in there with more speculative hand closing the action. It's like he did put the straddle on. 5 4, so he does have a gutter, does Don. Everybody checked it on the flop. Not a board pairs. And now Perry going to go ahead and bet at it. Yeah, when checks are on the flop, you don't think anybody has a queen. <laughs> Karn's going to think the same thing, though. Happily put in the call. Unfortunately for Perry, he's uh, drawing dead. All of his uh, tens, unfortunately, were gone. But he's board, on. board pairing queen is made bad for Perry, too. Yeah. Karn's going to snap call the bet. 
Karn does take it down. Perry was definitely betting for value in that river. This unfortunate card had one of those hands that can look him up that hasn't beat. Mm -hmm. Any other pocket pair would have called as well, sixes through nines. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Run Good Poker Series uh, reaching its end. It feels like we just started this thing. But, uh, yeah, it's starting. Of course, final table action will be tomorrow. Uh, Sunday night will be final table action. Uh, Donis and Mike Kruger will be doing the uh, commentary. Yeah, any, any excuse to come back. Yeah, exactly. And I think our dealers that night is going to be Jacob and Ronan. Uh, it's going to be dealing the final table for the run good. And then after that, we'll be back into cash game action. And by the way, the April live stream schedule is up. Um, it's a fun we are, one. Yeah, we are going to be running some different games. Oh, before I tell you about that, though, how about Kevin? We got aces. Yep, on the button has aces. Three bets at the 200. It's like Karn is going to come along and put in the call. John's going to let it go. So here we are. Off to the races. Aces versus 9-8 on the flop. Pretty good flop for Aces. Yeah, nothing too exciting for Karn here. Don't think we'll see this hand go uh, past the flop. No, this Unfortunately is for us. Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a bet and take down. Well, Kevin did go. About one third pot. Just nothing Karn can call. But yeah, we are going to be running some 1-3 uh, No Limit Hold'em games on the live stream. Now, I do want to preface this that if you're signing up on the web website, you'll see 1-3 No Limit Hold'em and then say, in quotes, the St. Augustine game. Just remember, the live stream is at our Jacksonville location. So if you sign up for that game, do not go down to St. Augustine. It is going to be here in Jacksonville. Um, well, maybe now, go down there to play it as practice. As, as practice. Actual live stream. You can do that. But the live stream is in Jacksonville. So if you're signing up for that 1-3 Nolan no Hold'em game, remember <coughs> it's on the live stream at the Jacksonville location. We are promoting a St. Augustine game that is exclusively ran at St. Augustine. The only exception is obviously when we run it on the live stream. And John, our, wow, Jack's again. No action for him this time, though. Yeah, so... Just rem remember that. And also, uh, we've got the 1K mix game that's going to be part of that as well, which I've already had a bunch of people come up to me asking to play in that 1K mix game. Um, and uh, judging by the names I've put on this list already, uh, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> I bet so. We got um, uh, Yak that has to be on it, Sammy, Pittsburgh Paul. It's uh, pretty, pretty. It'll be, it's going to be a pretty good lineup. Might be a couple of ball ins in that game. Yeah. Let me see Karn open it up with the Queen Jack. That one's down at 5 4 suited. He'll put in the call. Looks like he'll be the only caller. So here we are, yep. Queen Jack versus 5 4. King King 8 flop. Queen Jack very much in the lead, and Karn's on check it over to Don. Right. Don checks it back, has a backdoor to hearts. Now the board's starting to coordinate more. That That's gives it an open-ended. Yeah. yeah. Puts in the lead C-bet when he turns the open-ended straight draw. Don snap folds. He's moving on along to the next hand. Uh, Bowling Dude, I want to say it's the same as St. Augustine. I want to say it's a 100 min, 500 max. Um... I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If not, it'll be something similar. That's it'll be sure. something similar. It might be a little bigger. It might make the max a little bit higher since it's on the live stream. But Yeah. That was a question I meant to ask Sage earlier today when I talked to him. Sent a quick text. <coughs> Action folded all the way around to Don. Going to raise it to 40 in late position with the 7 6 clubs. Docknado, Ace Trace stood on the button. May have been tempted to put in a 3 bet. Just going to put in the call. Dean happy to call it Queen Jack suited. Three ways we're going to go. Does come down Queen High, Queen 8 Deuce, Rainbow. Dean flopping the best of it with top hair. 
Don. So the preflop raids are going to put out a continuation bet, though. Got backdoor straight and backdoor flush draws. See Don Nato get out of there, and Dean happy to put in the call. Okay, clubs on the turn. Opens that back door a little bit more for Donnie. Looks like he's assembling yet another bet. It was a little over pot. Wow, yeah. Over bets it. It's going to be hard for Dean to hold up on this. Don could have easily turned a king here. Let's see if he can figure it out. He is. He's picking up chips with yeah. the call coming in. Don't put it on the call. So Don's going to be looking for a club, looking for a scare card to bluff at. And it's a ten of diamonds. So no club. Let's see if Don can find a bluff or not. Well, before he can, Dean is going to lead right out. And he's going to bet 350, a third of the pot, basically. And yeah, nice blocker bet size here. Knows that if he checks it over and Don goes big, he's going to have to let it go. Don trying to figure out if he can put in a raise or not. If it's a blocker bet, you can bluff at it. If it's a value bet, you got to let it go. And Don reads it for value. Dean's going to scoop it in. All right, so day 1B, uh, the players have officially hit their dinner break. So registration is open for a little more than 50 minutes now. Uh, so, again, registration is going to be open until the end of the dinner break when the players make their return. <laughs> and uh, we're just one player away from 180 entries. A heck of a showing today, and usually the Saturday flight is even bigger. So. Yeah. Can't make it in today. No worries. Kicks off tomorrow at noon yet again. Obviously, same structure as today, so you got all the way till about 7:30 p.m. Jump in there. Prize pool. I would assume sneak right around half a million. Yeah, the way it's running for sure. So I mean, like close to a, somewhere in that 100k range for first place. Not too bad. 10-5 ace rainbow board. Don does have a pair of fives. Don's on bet and Card's immediately going to let it go. Yeah, Don C betting an ace high board. Easy for Karn to let it go. He defended out of the big blind. Also, even though, yeah, the Run Good Poker Series is going to be ending on Sunday with the uh, final day, we are still going to have a single day event happening over at Best Bet St. Augustine on Saturday the 30th. Going to be the 30K guarantee, $300 buy-in for that tournament. Again, that's happening on Saturday the 30th. Pretty much, yeah. And then one week later, a week afterwards, I'm seeing it, the GoPo. Yep, making it Sunday the 7th. Oh, it's a Sunday too. Wow, nice. Yeah. They went with a, we could put theirs on a Saturday, ours on a Sunday. Nice to mix it up. You know, just in case you have anybody out there that works on a Saturday like us. Yep, exactly. <laughs> uh, also, there's going to be satellites that's going to be happening for that GoPro that's going to be on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So four satellites to get into the GoPro 400. 40K guarantee in the prize pool. Final four weekend. Had to go with a nice four theme. Four saddies. 40K guarantee. 400 buy-in. We're talking about that. Two players here flop top pair. Queen Jack four. The action checks around. So Karn and John, both with top pair, weak kicker. We saw a value bet on the turn. Everybody's coming along because Don's got a gut shot. That's what we saw him call closing the action, but Don does brick it. Karn with a better kicker on his queen. And Karn is going to bet 175 here. John lets it go. Don's going to look it up. Wow, man, the run bad this is continuing for Don here. Yeah, not not going well. We thought uh, things might go his way first couple of hands, and then immediately crashed. Well, I mean, he lost that one pot to Sam where the jacks held. They ran it twice. Jacks held both times. And then, uh, yeah, just not able to catch a break or not able to get anything going right now is Don. But again, like I said, it's super early. 
favorite spot that you guys go to? Man, you're going to ship me banned from all three. <laughs> this is just like that. This is just on camera. Obviously, best bet. It's obviously best bet. <laughs> 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 Oh, you heard it! You heard it from the main man himself. Karn, Karn loves Jacksonville. Best curious, bet. Curious if he plays on live streams in other rooms. Let's go back and do some research. That's hilarious. Jacob put on the spot. Stuff. Favorite place to go for food. Oh, okay. <laughs> That is a game changer. Three of you. <laughs> you know, I'm actually going to say Kansas City. Check. Nah, I can't, can't go wrong with that. I mean, that Kansas City barbecue. Check. 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 Yeah, that one so, Bocknado has an ace. Checks to him in position on this turn, so he's going to bet it out. A little under half five, but neither player can put in a call. Uh, Tom's ace is best, just going to take it down. I'm also biased. I grew up in this last you know. no. See that guy in the Facebook chat. What's up, that guy? Good to see you, man. Like yeah, I'll be seeing you on Saturday. Yeah. It's like a staple up there. Breakfast, lunch, and barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> we got a straddle. We need 25 to go. I'm going to open it up. 75 with the Queen 10 suited. Folds all the way around to Perry. He's going to put in the call, and Don going to defend from the straddle. It's Queen 6. So three ways. But 9 deuce, deuce flop. Two hearts on board, neither player holding. None of these players holding anything here. Turn comes forward, pairing 9. Check. Action continues, around just up. check on around. Off we go to an ace on the river, so. Three-way change, it seems. And uh, Jake is going to have his work cut out for him. What a boring run out that was. That was, very much so. Mm, Got a fair amount of doozy hands to start out the stream. That one, that one <laughs> must be the worst yet. Yeah, that one was pretty bad. But, uh, Yeah, I would ask about like having fun and all that, but you say you don't get to go out much anymore. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I can tell you the back of the day story. I don't know if that's uh, uh, I don't think what that's radio stream, stream appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a place we go to, actually, it's where our first series ever was. And uh, there is a gentleman's club across the street. That was, uh, those are exciting <laughs> times back in the day. Exciting times. Believe it or not. And nobody went there. And nobody went there. We yeah, all, yeah. Shockingly yeah. enough. <laughs> there was a church next door. We all went there. Yeah, let him finish the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright. 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 John waking up with Ace 10. Ace 10 offsuit for John. Oh, and Perry pocket kings. Here we go. 3 bet, 135. John going to go ahead and put in the call. All right, Kings are an ace magnet. Let's see if an ace pops up in the window. Does not. Jack two six, all diamonds though. And Perry holds the king of diamonds. What a flop for him. Shot quickly, letting go. Perry C best. All right, well, it's gonna be my time. You guys got Kirk coming in, taking over. Thanks, Perry. Appreciate it. All right, so just like that, 30 minutes down. What are we doing for our time, guys? Whatever you guys want to do. That's the way things look. Uh, Sam right now, your big winner. Of course, he got in that big hand with Don. So we see Don, the big loser on the evening so far. Yep. Doubled up Sam early on. Yep. Dean's up a bit. Also got through to Don. And uh, that's the way things look right now. After 30 minutes, and there's a look at the V pips. John leading that one. Don, 50%. Right now, uh, Kevin right now need to get involved. Uh, that guy, I do not know, to be honest. Um, I don't 
I can tell you Kirk is not. Uh, Kirk is actually traveling uh, to get ready for the uh, WPT Voyage Cruise. So I know that he will not be here. I will. I think Jacob will be here, but I can tell you for sure Kirk will not be here. <clears throat> All right, so we doing a bomb pot? Looks like we are. The question is, okay, so we're doing the no limit hold 'em uh, bomb pots. I guess we're doing this uh, as a way of being uh, taking out the uh, time rate. So Karn and John are now heads up. Oh no, Sam's in there too. Sam had an open ender on the top board. I know that much. Karn has trips on the bottom board and a flush. Sam with the flush on the top. So as of now, it's looking like it's a chop. Unless another heart comes on the top board. Or another heart on the bottom board. That too. <laughs> that too. And now Karn is going to go ahead and go all in here. He's trying to steal it away. I think he's got the bottom board locked up. So, yep. He's trying to push a player off the top board and avoid the chop. Let's see for Sam here. Already has the flush on the top. Could potentially hit a flush on the bottom if a heart comes on the bottom. It's just scary if you think your opponent has a flush higher than yours. Right. Considering very, very thin. Yeah, considering you have just the A high flush. And a deuce and tray are out there. Mm -hmm. There's no worse flushes available. Wow, he flips in the call again. Let's see if either one can suck out to steal it. Nope. Oh, I'm just going to hold up for the chop. Yep. So we are going to chop this up. If so, button does stay on these uh, double board bomb pots. Also, big promotion coming up on Friday, the 29th. Our 24K day returns at Best Bet Jacksonville. $500 high hands for the first 30 minutes, $1,000 high hands for the last 30 minutes. Every hour is going to start right at 10 a.m. and go until 2 a.m. That's going to be on the 29th. And the April promotions are also up on the website as well, so you guys can go to the website bestbetjacks.com and click those uh, calendars for April. See there's some shared promotion days that's going to be taking place on April 19th and 20th. It's actually the exact same promotion. $1,500 high hands every 30 minutes from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. on the 19th and 20th of April. Again held at both all three locations, Jacksonville, Orange Park, and St. Augustine. Sam throwing a little stab as a bluff here. Unfortunately for him, the Perry River the 10 and puts him the call. Also, looking at the promotions, uh, Mike, I see you guys got something happening called our rollover Wednesdays. Yeah, bringing back the rollovers. Ace is full. To win, so if nobody hits in that segment, it rolls one over to the next one. Too shabby. Remember in the past seeing some of those roll up pretty high 800, 1000. And also, I'm um, promoting, uh, don't forget, go ahead and mark your calendars for Thursday, the 11th of April. That is the next. Best Bet Live meetup game happening now to Best Bet St. Augustine. That'll kick off their multi-day stack they got going on. Mm -hmm. That night will be the first flight. 
good combo if you want to come hang out with some of the live stream crew, playing some splashy cash games, and then maybe fire in the first flight for the multi-day event. Yeah. Like I said most of us will be down there for that. John just took on the value talent in that hand. Don, unfortunately, is continuing to have a rough go at it. He's getting shown a better hand. Not, uh, not what you want to have happen when you're playing. How many streams are there a week? Uh, usually three, but with the run good, we have five this week. Yes, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. A lot of stuff. But typically Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, too. I'm very nervous. I'd rather like just not play some streams. Really? Why? Give the fuck. I have a lot of these. I don't want them to play. You do, who cares? I don't want them to play. But it's hard to play a big game, man. 9 for 1. Raise 60, C2, 4 for 3. Nice, so Perry puts in the raise to 60. 8 6 suited. He's trying to get pretty comfy and mix things up himself. Dean's yeah, going to be the only caller. We will go heads up to a flop. Jack 5 9, two diamonds. It's Dean flopping two pair. Perry with the, with the gut shot going to throw out the C bet. Two diamonds, a lot of straights available. We might see Dean check raise. Instead, he's just going to smooth call. Now, oh, four hearts pops up on the turn. Super brick. Just what Dean wanted to see. Perry does slow down, checking back. Uh, Ace of Diamonds does complete the diamonds on the board. Dean checking it over. Perry electing not to bluff with his eight high. It's good for him that he didn't. As Dean was definitely checking to call a river bet. Didn't think he'd get value out himself too much. This is Lauer, you see that? <laughs> you got one in. Got one in. <laughs> <laughs> Holding all the way around to the blinds. Dean with tens. Imagine he's going to raise it up. Sure enough, makes it 50 to go. Alright, King 9. Going to defend out of the big blinds. So, pocket tens versus King 9 here, and a King in the window for Karn. Now, spades complete. And Dean's going to go ahead and bet 50 here. Half pot. Which gives Karn the uh, raise there. Now board pairs. Dean's perspective. I <coughs> think Karn would have checked back a king on this flop. That's why we see him continue to put in the call on this river. Karn a little deceptive, checking back the pair of kings. Ends up getting him paid off by doing so. That's so far been a pretty interesting 5-10 game. It's been a pretty different set of play styles. We've seen good mix of uh, pre-flop action. Early on, saw a lot of premium hands being dealt out. So it's been kind of a weird game. There's a lot of times everybody kind of sits down, starts feeling each other out when you have this many players that aren't familiar with each other. Right. But they didn't have a chance to feel each other out because everyone was waking up with monsters early on. Like this, pocket jacks again. This has got to be the sixth time I think I've seen pocket jacks in the hour. Doc Nato put in the three bet. It's like Perry called it, so... Or at least heads up, and there's a jack in the window. I think Doc Nato just flopped the set. And depending what came along with it, you could see Perry having some straight draws. Jack 5 6. And Doc Nato with all of this board locked up. Yeah. 
little too strong of a flop. Looks like Don uh, topped back off. It's, looks like he added another 6K to his stack. We threw a flag on the table not too long ago. That was just his opportunity to go change it out for some right. smaller denomination chips. But yeah, obviously sitting on a very healthy stack. And as we saw in that first update, he is the most stuck. So he's going to be trying to get it back. The only way he can get it back, right? Throw with some more chips on the table. John, out of the small blind, going to be the initial raiser. This is 25. Oh, wow. Don, the straddler. And Don just topped off, too. Just topped off, added 6K. Now Perry getting a pretty good price to set in mind with his pocket trays. There he is. Looks like he's going to flick in the call. So, damn. Is that like 1,200 in the middle? And it's blind versus blind versus blind. Oh, wow. Formation. The case ace came out. Yeah, disaster for Sean. Again, just for going back to a pre flop, all three of these players were in the blinds. Don was in the straddle. Did I hear an all in? Yeah, so John C. Oh, just wow. going to check raise shove with his ace queen. Wow, and he's drawing dead. I mean, it doesn't matter. We could run it 900 times. Oh. Both think the other one's on the splayed flush draw. So one run out. And Don filled up just in case, but does it again. Wow, the case ace. Just like out. Don getting close to even. I that was a, that was a pretty massive hand for Don. Brutal for John. Don's been playing very aggressive. Puts him on a three bet out of the straddle. It could be very light. You get a wet flop or Don could be uh, C betting with a lot of hands. That's not good, man. You play with me too much. <laughs> That's what he was supposed to think. I didn't see when you flipped it over. Wow, wow, wow. Imagine that. Don just topping off. Just loading back up and then immediately gets aces and then flops a set with the case ace. I mean, he had ace king ahead of ace. What is he going to do? Ace queen. Awesome. Why is Pocket Trays calling a three bet? Thank you, bud. I think he was getting a pretty good price. It was about 320 more to call. I think he has about 3K behind, so. Yeah. Close to the right price to go set mining. Especially being multi way. Yeah, imagine if he would have. I think if John C got out of there, he may have let it go. Right. Going heads up with Don, but getting to go three ways makes it tempting. He came in for two? I see John C. Already get back just in time for this hand. Yeah. Four, five, eight. Rainbow board. Yeah, both John and Kevin with gut shot straight draws to go with a small pair. Can't pair of fours for Kevin with his gut shot. Pair of fives for John. John going to throw out a bet when it checks over to him. Getting right back into it. Looks like a bet 100. Kevin going to be the only caller. Neither one improves on the turn when it comes to queen of clubs. Okay. Kevin checked it over, John. Betting again. Kevin's just going to let it go. Doesn't want to try to bluff the guy who just got stacked on the last hand off of whatever he's holding. Adding on two. Some chips, adding on 2K. All right. Everybody's kind of reaching for some extra chips now. Yeah, game's starting to get a, a little bigger. Wouldn't be surprised if before long they just make a $25 strap mandatory. Just one by one, everybody's kind of topping off here. We're going to 
see Dean open it up. Looks like John put in the call. <laughs> Dean with the eights. John called in position with 7 6 off. Don came along it from the straddle as well with a 9 5. Don actually flops the best hand with a pair of nines. Dean's going to see that though and it checks over to him. After John folds. Don puts in that call. Heads up to an ace of spades on the turn. Don checks it over. Dean deciding just to check it back. Both players sitting here with very similar hands. Probably hoping to just get the show down. Don, gonna fire at it. He's on a hundo. Little blocker bet. He's gonna put in the call. Don wasn't proud of it. <laughs> Just said inconsequential. Make the squirm. Don stacking another pot there. They're climbing closer and closer to being even on the night now. Just good news for everybody over there in the YouTube chat. In case anybody's yeah, unfamiliar, I Don <laughs> usually gives away five percent of his winnings to Not on that particular one lucky viewer. Yeah, yeah. Chosen at random towards the end of the stream. We haven't been able to do it in quite some time as he hasn't had a winning session in a while. He's looking to get off the schneid. It is the Run Good series happening right now, after all. For Karn raised it up. John's the only caller, and they're going heads up to a clean 10 tray, two heart flop. John flops a gut shot. Karn, continuation bets with his pair of trays. John is going to put in the call against the C-bet. Off to a king on the turn. Karn going to keep firing. King doesn't scare him and John's got to let it go. See Karn. Doing some aggression there. We'll see if that's his continued play style throughout the night. Oh, Dean first up under the gun, gonna bump it to 50. We're gonna see John put in the call. A tall human being. <laughs> Don Nato with a suited King 8. He's gonna call as well. One time. Sam get out of there, so three ways to the flop we go. John flops the set. Perfect Comes down 9 4 deuce. Rainbow board, too. He throws out the C bed. Like, I'm perfect surprised to see if John just blackballed. She does. To be like the best of the best and not doing shit with it. <laughs> poker player. Turn five. Like, let me decide to be poker player. So. Does complete the rainbow. <laughs> see if Dean wants to keep firing. Does not. Just slows down and checks it over. John. Maybe betting for value now. I know he could rip it if I really talk. 150, about half pot. Yeah, Dean's just going to fold. Good for him that he does. As John had this one on lock. That motherfucker. He's lost. He's gone. Yeah. He's lost in the poker. That's probably the guy we played with the other day, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's 6'8. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, freaking guy at the casino, 6'8. That's the guy. Hey, we were at the same table waiting for you to say something. Yeah, he's the guy. Look how much taller he is than Russ. And Russ is like 6'2. <laughs> I try my hardest around tall people to not like talk to them about how tall they are. Oh, yes, like I know like, everyone's <laughs> like, how's the weather? Which he is, Reds. 40. 40, Reds. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40,
Yeah, he played for North Carolina State. I thought he was nine four, but he's seven four. Yeah, so. and I don't when know you if want, I've seen anybody that tall. Right? Yeah, he walks into the room. How about these basketball players? We are seeing Sam put in a three bet. Don, speculative call with Jack Nine. Maybe he thinks he can blow Sam off a hand in position. That's a pretty good flop to do so. 10 10 8. It's all Sam C bet and Don call. Now King on the turn. Sam improves the best hand, fires out a big bet, and just going to take it down. Played for, played Bad turn card for Don to try to pull off anything. Great card for no Sam. Is <laughs> definitely improved. I believe it. It's get hard to sit in these chairs if you're that tall, you know? Like, when, he, when he walks in the room, I can tell you this, everybody's head doesn't What? <laughs> I met Eric Montross one time, nice he's seven guy. foot. Yeah, he's, he's and that's the biggest bigger. person yeah, I've ever like, seen. Well, Montross is a lot more than he is. You know, Montross, well, Montross is, is a body. Yeah. Yeah. Montross is tall and he's, you know, he's a linebacker. But Tommy Burgess is just skinny and tall. I used to live in Orlando. Uh, when the movie chips Don called. Don, yeah. Don Canado might be tempted to put in a three best squeeze there. Instead, he's going to call between 10. Karn getting a great price. Closing the action on the big line. Tap to put the call at 9 8. Four ways we go to Queen, 9 6. Two diamonds on board. Don Canado flopping the best of a top pair. Karn sitting here with a pair of nines. Took the back, checks all the way the around to the top NATO. It throws out our bet. Karn puts in the check raise to 300, and that's going to get it done. Doc NATO is going to let go of his Queen 10. Karn starting to ramp up the aggression on this table. Karn continues to try and push everybody around. Or if anybody starts standing up to it. So check Ray has got it done there with just middle pair. All right, Kevin getting a free walk in the straddle. Surprised to see that. Uh, Sal says he likes three betting that Queen 10, referencing that hand a couple ago with Donk Nato. I think I like it too. John's been more active, first to act, so. He would be raising light. You have a caller in between. Yeah, it's funny about that. Hundred to hundred and two. Colorado was favored by a point and a half. Twelve eight, twelve nine. Yeah, they're so good. They're they're good. good. The they get it. They get it all the time. That's what somebody asked me. I don't. I said I don't get sports. I cannot. You cannot do it better than the Rockets. Only when you just take a money line and then you got to pay like five thousand to get in. It's two fifty C one. And we're talking about putting in some light three bets. Kevin, who's been pretty quiet so far in this session, putting in a three bet out the big line King Jack offsuit. Sam, though, pretty strong with Ace Queen, gonna put in the call. Heads up to go to Ace Queen six, top two for Sam. Kevin flops a Broadway draw, and he was the pre flop three better. We're going to see him see bet 225, about one third pot. Sam obviously going nowhere, just no matter whether he's going to raise or flat. Raise comes in. Obviously holding the ace of clubs, Sam. Unblocking any sort of ace, ex of diamonds. Be 
happy to get the money in now with his top two pair. Kevin holding the jack of diamonds is pretty interesting. You have to imagine that Sam would have four bet with ace king suited. You know he's not doing this with ace jack of diamonds, for example. That raises enough to get the job done for Sam as Kevin lets it go. Uh, Caddy Mix asking if this is an uncapped buy-in. Yeah, the live stream 510 is uncapped. That's why you see a lot of them popping off for bigger and bigger chip stacks. Sometimes the game evolves into a 510-25, sometimes 510-25-50. This one doesn't have quite as many maniacs on the table, but you never know what could develop as a few hours pass by. Uh, Richie asking, is Lex playing here? I don't know if Lex is here today. I didn't see him when I walked through. But I'm sure if he is, we'll find out. It'll vlog in the near future. John got to be able to, got to put in a three bet with pocket jacks. He is playing from the button. Double ace is calling. Wow, ace high flop. Huge for Dean when it came down to ace, ace, seven, giving him top and bottom pair. They all check and flow over to John and see that. Kevin's going to call him now. Imagine Dean's going to throw in a check raise, two diamonds on board. A lot of straight draws available as well. Got a very susceptible hand. Those check raises at 600. He was sizing it, trying to get John to shove with a bigger ace, given his chip stack. Said it's Kevin with the big ace, the ace jack. Does have backdoor spades, in addition to a backdoor straight draw. Kevin does call. Go off to a deuce on the turn. Kevin did just get pushed off of a hand on the last hand, so maybe he thinks people are starting to push him around a little bit. Checks over Dean, who throws out another 600 here. Obviously, that deuce on the turn doesn't really change anything in this hand. We'll see how Kevin wants to react to this 600 bet out of Dean. Very good price to call. If you think there's any chance Dean is doing this with some sort of diamond to connecting type hand. We've seen Dean, we have seen Dean be par pretty fairly active so far. Hasn't really gotten out of line bluffing too much, but obviously we have the benefit of seeing the whole cards. Maybe Kevin thinks Dean's been in there a little bit lighter than he has been. <clears throat> Again, Kevin maybe reeling a little bit from the last hand he just played where he got pushed off of the hand on the flop to a big raise. It's easy to get in your own head, start thinking that everybody's starting to pick on you. Especially given the fact that Kevin's played pretty snook first hour-ish of stream, but does not level himself and finds the fold. Dean's going to drag that pot in. Kevin tried getting in the mix the last couple of hands and it didn't work out so well. Very unfortunate timing for him on both spots. I know he was very quiet. Up until then, you think that it's going to work. Just a case of can't get anything going. Oh, well, then you made a bad choice. You doing this still? Oh, yeah. yeah. Make sure to get him. Especially him. No, I don't want to. <laughs> it, it's, it's 50, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually think that he said he's going to pay time for this time. For all of us. Only Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I think he said he's going to pay years all night. He should.
One time I bluff. <laughs> One time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Don referencing a hand right, early on the stream where he tried to pull off a big bluff against so Sam, who's currently good. away from the table, a uh, frustrated that it didn't work out. Don went for a big one. Yeah, didn't go his was, way. Yes, yeah. 102 to 100. Really? Yeah. They go to overtime? They must have. I don't think so. They might have, but for, I, just saw, I just saw the score and said five. Players have been doing a double board hold on bomb pot on the dealer change. 75 in is a two. Four a way of taking the time rate as well as mixing the game up a little bit. See Perry popping a monster on the top. Three of a kind queens. Perry did lead out on the flop for 75. Uh, Kevin, the only caller with a queen of his own. Turn goes that call yet again. And well, good news for Perry is his queen nine is actually going to be best on the bottom board. Perry thinks they're chopping, but in fact, Perry actually going to scoop three quarters of this thing. Quartered. You got quartered. Yeah, I'm winning the bottle, Queens. I didn't dream that you had the other queen. I figured you were winning the bottle. It's lit. You can just take that back. That's half what you hear Perry there. A little surprised to be winning in this hand. You win the bottom slick. Get some good news. He's about to drag a decent amount of profit on the stand that he didn't think he was getting. It's like finding twenty dollars in your laundry. It's not my idea. I strongly remember you begging, just begging people, begging <laughs> no. them to do it. That's right, appreciate it. But I was going to say, I'm perfectly fine doing the, uh, uh, the, the numbers. The num time flop. The time flop. Neither one of us figured out who's got the win. Nobody wants that. Yeah. We want to see blood. I didn't have those guys. How about this? I mean, How about this? Next man. time? Nah, I'll, I'll just flip over eight cards. I know, I, I know I'm going to get a card. Yeah, low card base. But I figured you got an ace or something on the bottom. That's why I did it. Or, I mean, I could have got it, but I just checked <laughs> on I mean, yeah. Player so we're not giving anybody else's money. I'm just hoping you have one at eight. I know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you, can't, you, can't you can't blank that I got it. I can't blank you got it. Alright, 464. Just stupid, stupid shit. What are you talking about? Harry folding yeah, the best it. hands. Yeah, I do have a heart. And that was good one, too. <laughs> could be. Karn's aggression. Could be. Listen, all you have to do is say all in, and Perry will be Yet like, Yet again, you know not what? getting shown and like working out. Is... Yellow eyes. I saw Perry full yeah. pocket jacks there. Well, Queen of high four hearts. Did you hear from the series? <laughs> yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, that's correct. Better yeah. just to get away from it. Perry shows that he folds it there. I'm sure that's going to be a mental note for everybody in the game as well. Maybe he's somebody who can bluff on some scary runouts and scary boards. So it's a little bit easier. Let's see if that comes into play as the game goes on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that what she said? Yeah. I didn't even hear that. Oh, six. Hey, Perry, what you had done? Yeah, you've seen some crazy stuff with four people. All four of us. clubs. Fifty to go, all in three. And it's, it is the nut. I mean, it's the nut. So everybody's a four-way nut. All the way around to Don. Maybe the only caller. He's got pocket sixes. Nothing catch a six on the flop, even though his hand's still best. 
for now. Came down jack by four, two clubs. Dean with the flush draw, going to see bet. Don with only one over card to his pair, going to put in the call. Go and eight of hearts on the turn. Don, Don actually adds a straight draw to his hand. Dean going to continue firing when check two. Goes about half pot. 125. Don going to call again. River King. It's like the bigness of the game. Don's hand stays best. What's another card that Dean could represent if he decides to go for it? Yeah, I say, I wonder if Dean will try to bluff at this. We've seen Don be pretty sticky so far this session, though, so it might be. You might think, I don't know if they want to bluff him, but Dean with Queen High knows it's no good. <laughs> he does bet 200, so half pot size bet. He's on half pot all streets, and it's so easy to believe he has a king here. You know, if he was bluff, bluffing on the flop and turn, I think he has some face cards that include a king a lot of the time. That's why we see Don where to go. I knew it! <laughs> Gets shown the bad news. Uh, you turn it over, too. Is it a bluff? All right, well, real quick, let's go ahead and show the stats. I didn't have a chance to show that earlier because uh, uh, I was out taking care of some things. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Don, who was stuck uh, over 3K at one point, now he's stuck only 500. So he has worked his way back up after uh, top back off and then getting that one big hand with the aces. Sam, though, is still your big winner. Dean is also up there as well. Uh, everyone else kind of even or a little stuck. Uh, John C. now is the one that's the most stuck at the table. And then there's a look at the V-pips. John, 44% uh, V-pip. Don, 42%. Right now, Kevin, the lowest V-pip, 17%. That's about average for him, though. He's definitely one of the more tighter players that we do have play on our live stream. Wow, Doc Nato. Oh, no. Here we go. Aces versus Queens. And Dean just electing the flat with the Aces. And we just got ourselves a set. Don Nato, set of Queens. And unfortunately, for Dean, <laughs> he thinks he's still drawing to a potential ace, but he is drawing very thin. You see, all of his aces are gone. Also, I'm not sure why our graphics are looking like that. That's kind of weird. They're kind of blending into each other on the top right there. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, it's just, the games are phenomenal when, when the series... Is Everyone's there. Down eight on the turn. Spades are out there. And it's a four liner on the board. So Dean does pick up a few more outs. <laughs> no, that'd be the opposite effect. With the jack. Those are chop outs. So now Doc Nato bets 250. Yeah. Yeah. The one room I've been in that doesn't let like you eat at the table. Yeah. I don't know. Dean puts in the call. They're, they're family. Family and it's six clubs on the river. Doc Nato, who flopped a set of queens after Dean flatted <laughs> Doc Nato's raise pre flop. Now a third of the pot, 425 to bet from Doc Nato. Spades miss. There is the four liner out there on the board. Virginia's opening? 30 years. Yeah, they're opening one at Danville, and they've already got one in time. Finally going nationwide. For 30 years, we went to Atlanta. He does flick in the call. And Doc Nato. Got to show the bad news. 
And as soon as they open stuff up in Philadelphia and the surrounding area, the Atlantic City does scoop up that pot. They only have the business on the weekend that's not the only business there. Yeah. Really. So as soon as you walked in and you saw the uh, flop, you're like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely could have gotten a lot worse if the turn and river didn't put so many different straight draws out there. Yeah. I need Jack. I need seven. Carolina. Definitely could have been a lot worse. Uh, that's, too much, that's what needs to open. Too much money. They'll open one in Georgia. They'll open one in Atlanta. Atlanta will be the About four minutes left in dinner break, guys. Uh, 184 players now entered into day 1B. Add another 190, well, now 185 players have registered now. Add of, as of now another 192,400 to the prize pool. That's, that's what it is. Texas and Georgia. Well, in North Carolina, it was after 1 o'clock. That was Travis? No, it's called. North Carolina's got 100 counties. 10 to go. Exactly 100. Roughly 40 of them. Or, uh, they're going to raise it up from the butt. 10 8 offsuit bumps up to 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy to isolate the limper. I think it's heads up to the flop in position. 4 5 king, 2 diamonds. Dork data. Uh, Dork data. <laughs> With the flush draw on this flop. Assemble a continuation <laughs> bet, which should get the job done. That's what happens. He fires it out. John lets it go pretty quick. Yeah. So Don Canado does take it down. <laughs> also, guys, for the main event, day 1C is left for tomorrow. Be the final day that you can try to enter and try to get to day two of our main event, which, by the way, everyone that does make day two will be in the money. We've almost hit the uh, 300k guarantee. Probably going to get to half a million in the prize pool potentially after day one C on tomorrow. No idea. Wow, queens again. We have seen a lot of premium pocket pairs in this first hour and a half on the live stream. Saw John and Ben with them. Maybe where the people have been raising, kind of like Don Nato did last hand when he limps in. So tries to take advantage of that dynamic. It is. Deja vu. Don Nato raising the ice lace limp. And Karn then goes put in the call here. And yep, check raise incoming. Go small with it. Only 150. Play might go a little bit bigger. Trying to get stacks in. Doesn't no. matter whether Doc Nato wants to floor bet or not. I think that is what he's contemplating. It's such a small three bet, as you said. Yep, and four bet incoming indeed. 425. Looks like it's all Sean. That's for the count for Karn got out of there. Couldn't tell if he was going to jam or call. He goes with just the call. Do 7 4. Without as dry of a flop as it can get. Especially like a 4 bet pot. You don't put anybody on a pocket pair of 7s or lower. No. Nato goes ahead and put together a bet of you know what the, 225. Small uh, down for, bet here. You know, per, per bracket. They say it's like one in 500 quintillion. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's a nasty yeah. turn. Yeah, it's not that bad of a chance. It's worst card to come out. Same thing as winning the bag of jackpots when he goes off. <laughs> <laughs> Complete the rainbow on that turn as well with that king of clubs. Let's Don Nato continue going small. Sean flies it, lets it go. Yes, with a nasty turn card for him. Can you believe that? It's never happened. That would make sense. Yeah. Yeah, again, guys, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. It looks like there was one player that was accidentally entered into the tournament. Uh, so we are actually at 184. 
Uh, it did pop up 185, but then the player got subtracted. Still a bit so quintillion. we are at 184. The dinner break has officially ended. So we'll get the uh, final number in just a minute. Now I'm trying to remember, is it 10% or 12% that comes out of this uh, field for this tournament? Take a look. Three-way hot. Dean initially raised it up. Two players decided to call out of line. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll Dean lost the diamond flush draw, so he's going to see bet when it checks over to him. Karn with a pair going to put in the call, though. Interesting. Queen of Hearts falls on the turn. Hmm. See if Dean wants to continue firing with his Brymans. That's interesting. I just do it to one of the River bricks out. Karn going to lead this Trey Deuce. Maybe thought he had to bluff that a little bit there. You can see that this Deuce was best. And he's going to take it down again without showdown. We have seen him fire time and time again. Hasn't had to show at any point yet. They should put the stream up there wow. so I can see is working. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's 12.5% of the field that does advance. That's it? One out of every eight players I'm for, for <laughs> non-math inclined out there. Yep. <laughs> right, so it, it, the final number is 185. <laughs> that did get into the day 1b so that's the final number with registration closing is 185 players play has resumed you see the, the, one of those early live at the bikes with uh, Garrett um, the guy uh, all right, we got three. Garrett went all in on the river and the guy used threw in all of his time cards so Garrett got up and walked away to get like a, a couple of Kleenexes and tissues. Because <laughs> he used all his times. <laughs> like, check. Uh, double bear board, queens and fours. Karn's ace is worry. good. Oh no, I didn't see that. Garrett? Or? It was uh, Jared Bloodstick. Okay, yeah. Sticking around, but he's just opening up sports cards, going, using the time card. But he also runs like a sports cards company, so he was like, kind of little, yeah, a little plug, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks. 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 I just want to know what your check raise is. That's all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't can't. They're gonna throw you out. Did you not listen to Ryan's spiel? Oh, I can't look at it? No. You can't look at it while you're... Oh, okay. I so played ba you're basically advertising... Gotcha. I would I like to that. cheat. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I played in a live stream... You at least don't walk away. Up there. Okay, okay. I don't make it obvious. <laughs> I, <got> it. <laughs> I honestly didn't know that. If you start calling one of your buddies and say, hey, check That's your what you do. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. But, or don't do anything like that. I did not know that. <laughs> I, I'm not a stream watcher. Yeah, you yeah. cannot watch the stream at the table, Bo. Yeah, because I, I played one. They said it, they actually had it. Oh. Similar, probably. Ranges. <laughs> Six tray jack flop, two hearts. And both Perry and Don have a jack. However, Perry also has a six with his jack. Now hearts do complete on the board. <laughs> And that's another face card. I got a winner. I had to win her start with Queens and Jacks. Chop it up. Queens and Jacks, chop it up. Perry gets counterfeit. Yep. Well, what am I going to do with the third hard hits? We did have similar hands. Oh, yeah. Same thing you did. What am I going to do with third hard hits? You said you hit it. I've got Jack six. I'm like, well, shit, maybe you hit the floor. What am I going to do? It's really, you really did win that. I told you. I told you. Shut up, man. Well, you better have a You should have went all in. Well, I'm not calling. You sure? Pause the deal. Pause the deal. third artist, I know I'm not calling. Perry and Don having a, a good time so far on the stream. 
It was a little bit of a rough start for Don earlier in the stream, but ever since he topped off and uh, got back into it. He's done fairly well. Back to close to being even as Don. So it was flopping top setting in somebody's top pair. Yeah, with, with the case ace, yep. Yeah. all take Pretty bad. You flop top set, you're going to have a good time. I was like just outside of the, um, like just on the edge of where it starts to get to the farmland. Definitely going a lot even like. I, I definitely took you as a farmland. Yeah. What? No. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's right where it goes to farmland. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't take it. Just buy it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's one across the street. Oh, nice. That counts. Yeah. To go. Although they, they turned it into a housing development now, so I guess it is. Well, Rolling all 40, the way around 40. the blinds. Don's gonna raise it with an ace out of the small blind. On oh, oh. just gonna let it go. But doesn't want to battle with the six four on suit. Aaron, what's up? Good to see you in the uh, YouTube <laughs> chat. Hopefully, you're doing well. I'm in there. For Thanks for stopping by. I'm in there. For <laughs> Straddle. I need seat one, two, three, four, five, six to start being more active. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that for a second. Like, this is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was counting how many players there were, and then uh, like a big call out. <laughs> We got a straddle, 25 degrees. So it's going to be a button straddle, actual start on the small blind. Don pleading, trying to get some more players active for the table. I don't think he needed to plead uh, Dean to be more active. Yeah, yeah. He's been Dean, in there quite a bit. Dean's been in there a bunch. And John, I think, has the highest V pit. Well, two pair, seven to aces for Don. However, Dean has trips. Shouldn't have called out Dean. Yeah. This is what happens when you call him out. He's gonna beat you. Now four on a turn. Oh no. Don now with two pair or a three pair now. Oh, and Don now boats up. Sevens full of fours. However, aces full of fours for Dean. Hot size bet, and Don's gonna call it off. Wow. <laughs> Don just could laugh. He's like, really? Can't beat you tonight. Runner, 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 runner enough to get to call me. Uh, Jay, well, it's a time rate game, so they could straddle from anywhere. Just enough. In a time rate game. Also, I think Don is the only one that's been straddling, so he's straddled both under the gun and on the button. All right, I think we're that's even, what, completely even now. Completely even now. <laughs> completely even now. <laughs> okay. So I think that's why Don was pleading with the table for, er, for others to get involved. Because he is the only one that's been straddling. We should put a TV here with the deep end. Well, Kevin, you'd be dead last. We show the deep end. Just have it like run. Like real time. There was one place they had a stream of eight after like every hour, uh, Lowe's Beach got kicked off. Wow. Kicked off? <laughs> yeah, it got kicked off. That's, that's a little, uh, <laughs> Trey 10 7 flop here. Don does hit the tray. Like, okay. yeah. It's funny, we actually kind of. Uh, stand up game? Yeah, stand up game. Uh, yeah, I heard that it's no longer legal. Here? No, in general. Oh, really? I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the gaming commission crack down or something like that. Oh, really? Oh, it's like this summer. Got my ass back. Oh. Yeah. 
I was down to the last two and I had to like jam two and in. <laughs> I lost I mean, that's it all. what they said last stream. They, they cracked down on the hard rock, but that's some of the also you can just do it and just not stand up. Yeah, I mean, that's what and we they do. Won't, like, notice it. We were told they were watching the cameras and they saw that we put our cards out. Uh, we must have been doing so. That's what happened. Oh. <coughs> Open up between Jack Don. Been itching to get in the mix. What's in the call? 6-5. 206. Sam. Easy three bet from the button. East King suited. And that's going to take it down. As the other two had speculative hands. Just get out of the way. Don, how's my dog? How's my dog? You're doing better. You're doing better. Yeah. Yeah. Look good. Yep. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. I know you said it was a little scary yeah. for a minute. I'm glad to hear that he's doing a lot of huge and shape for Stomach issues. He decided to eat some of his toys uh, and he ate a bottle cap and half a little water bottle. It's all these water bottles in his stomach. Honestly, that's his favorite toy. Dogs do love water bottles. English Bulldog. Like the empty water bottles? I'm not going to leave any laying around my house. <laughs> I used to have a, a boxer. Um, <laughs> And yeah, anytime I had an empty water bottle, I took the cap and the um, that little plastic piece that comes with the cap off the bottle, and he would just use that as his chew toy. Wow, set of sevens for Karn. Fortunately, not a lot for anybody else. Let's so see, actually, check through. Jack of Spades completing the rainbow. That gives Dean a pair of jacks and a gut shot for Perry. Put in a little check raise. Dean for only 100 and Morgan to get it put in the call. An ace of hearts on the river. Yeah, that might prevent Karn from getting paid off in any way. Does bet 400 this Karn. Dean will let it go. All right, so hour and a half down. Let's do a uh, stat check. And since the players are talking about V pips, we'll show V pips first this time around. John, yeah, 47%. Don, 43%. Dean, 34%. It's pretty respectable for the first four or five. If we were doing the whole kick off the island thing, Kevin would be the player we would be kicking off the table. Sub 2%. And yeah, Sam's still up the most. Don Canado up. Karn up 1,100. Good for him. Dean up almost... A little over 900. Everyone else uh, stuck right now at the moment. John, the most stuck at the table. Stuck 4,520. So it looks like in total we had 185 entries for day 1B. Looks like 65 players do remain. I think we're going to be taking, what, 24 players from this uh, fight? Day 1B into day 2? Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Well, it, was, it was, like the aftermath, it was a little over 23. So it was like 23, 24, somewhere around there. Someone just uh, had a set of jacks. Actually, jacks are going to take it down completely. Kevin's going to take down the entire bomb pot. Uh, 
Of course, we are on a 15-minute delay, so you're hearing uh, Jen in the background now officially telling players uh, welcome back uh, from their dinner break as the uh, players get situated again. That's why I start to get a little loud again. as well uh, going on right now tonight actually is our final 10 milestone guarantee satellite that started at 7 o'clock. Make registration for that ends a little after 9 o'clock. Five deuce queen flop here. It's a pair of fives? Clubs complete. Sam holds the ace of clubs. Sam has a lot of equity. He's got flush draw and he's also got a gutter for a straight draw. A ton of outs for Sam. Oh, we see him raise it up over Perry's bet. Perry with just a pair of fives. Gonna let it go. Sam, semi bluffing, steal one away there. Nice raise. Hey guys, once again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys being with us. The next time you will see us on the live stream after tonight, will be main event final table action for the Run Good Poker Series, the 300K guarantee main event final table. It'll be Sunday night. Anticipate wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. We'll probably get that table going around 8 o'clock or so. At night, but again, it's whenever we are down to the final nine. There is also the uh, best bet 500 that we like to run as well on the final day. So everyone that doesn't make the final day for the main, they can try to play in that $500 tournament. It's usually a pretty good tournament. It's really good for the out of town types, people that come in, rent a room for the weekend. Don't miss, if you don't make day two, you still got something to play in. Usually draws a pretty nice field, good payday for a one-day 500. Especially if you got a buddy in the main, you're trying to sweat, and you want to play something while that's happening. Yep. Karn is going to take this one down. I saw Karn was up about 1,100 at that last break, so it's probably closer to 12 now. It's been a lot of no showdown. Aggressive action. Oh no, I left my phone here. So you guys <laughs> I know he had a set to one hand. Aside sure from that, it's been a lot of just phone phone <laughs> navigating well. What about your burner? I don't even know. Seven. Seven. Right, Sam, get back in the mix of things. Raising up to fifty bucks. Ten nine suited. Wine yeah, I mean, we really haven't seen, like, a lot of, like, max pain hands outside of uh, the Jacks holding up against Don when Sam was heads up with them, and then after Don had topped off, uh, hit the set of aces and got value out of that hand. Other than that, like you said, a lot of the action has just been primarily pre-flop. <laughs> You not hear the part of the, of the effect. Yeah. Alright, pocket tens for Perry. Put in the three bet to two fifty. Kevin. Ace nine suited, gonna let it go. Perry's gonna take this down pre flop. Oh 
the queue, C3. Don putting in the three bet the 225 with 10-8 suited. Wow, Pocket Jacks showing up again, and it's been the kryptonite for Don tonight. Dean with the Jacks facing a three bet. And he's just going to go ahead and put in the call. Now Perry with Ace 10 offsuit. Probably going to feel compelled to just go ahead and get in there, too. So we're going to be three ways to the flop here. Four Queen King flop. Ooh. Probably not the best flop you'd want to see with Jack's rainbow board. Dean going to check it. Perry with a gut shot to Broadway. So I'll check it as well. Let's check all around. Now the board does pair. Completes the rainbow. Dean now may feel like he can go ahead and fire out, and he does. That's 245. So with the player behind him, we don't see. Perry just let it go. Don't want to try but good. You put in a light call. And Dean takes it down without too much trouble with pocket jacks on a king queen board. Not the smoothest of sailing for him there, but it goes easy enough. Razor gonna throw up a seabed. Three does. We see Dean get out of the way. See if Carmen wants to continue to under rep. She does. Putting in the flat call. Turn five of hearts. Carn checks it over. Continuing to just trap Don here. Don. Check and get back. We see a six of hearts on the river. So backdoor hearts do come in. Karn holding the hearts. Let's see him now bet for value given the fact that turn win check check. Doesn't want to check it over to Don. Have him check behind. Don. 
Let's go this jack high. Doesn't, doesn't want to turn it into a bluff of any kind. Would be pretty unbelievable to have one. Another pot going Karn's way again without showdown. We've seen quite a few takedowns from Karn. The rest of the table hasn't really seen any of his hands get shown. Perry mixing it up, raising a clean four of clubs. I'm Donk Nato gonna three bet with the clean ten suited. Gets to do so in position. John calling for pocket five. Perry calling with the queen four. So three ways in a three bet pot. Queen ten stays in the lead when it comes down to king at ten six. Nato's pair of tens are best. Let's just check it back though. Now queen comes on the turn. Perry turns the pair. Perry let out with that pair of queens. Tornado oh, raised it up. Perry's got to let it go. Tornado just drag one in. Navigating that one post swap after he three bet free. We, did, we saw Don Nato not 3-bet Queen-10 suited this time around. He went ahead and did so. Works out for him well there. Ten high if Don Nato called. You have your two slippy? Huh? You have your two? I do. Always. Shall I bring it up? I need it. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you the two. The two shall set you free. I need it. It's completely normal. Yeah. This is all, this is very normal. This is standard stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to buy that the last time. You're the not normal one for not having two. <laughs> I tried to buy that the last time we played. Yeah. Priceless. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's yeah. Megalo. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, wow. It's pretty sick, right? Yeah. I usually have a whale here, but I don't bring it. I swear to God. Yeah, I kind of talk a little bit here. It's been kind of an interesting game. Um, the amount of chips that are in play right now. I feel like... But about maybe 20 or 30 percent of them have been put in play so far. It's been a lot of light betting in this game, considering how much is on the table. It's been a very unique game. 10-7 deuce. So Kevin does have a pair of sevens. Well, action on Dean, and he didn't realize that it, it checked over to him. <laughs> Dean's like, oh, I'm sorry. Does check around. Now spades complete. So four spades on the turn. Don, who does hit a pair of fours, is going to bet 100 here. Kevin puts in the call, as does Perry. Perry open ended. King on the river. So Jack seven is going to be good. Perry checks it over to Don. Don might be compelled to fire out a bet. I think you're right here. Bet's 300. I've burned a thing or two. <laughs> Don bets 300. Kevin with. This pair of sevens. You can do a lot of flushes. Any ten, any king. Tell he doesn't feel good about this. I meant to ask this. How did Kevin acquire Don's tooth? Just borrowing it. And he does let it go, and as does Perry, so Don does get the steal. Takes it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is supposed to come in. It's a whaler. Holy shit. Is that real? It's a whale? Whale ear. Part of a whale ear. He wasn't joking. A whale ear? What are the odds? That there is a shark tooth and a whale ear at a poker table. And that's got to be one in quintu 500 quintillion. Yeah, that's an awful spot whale if that's a whale. It's just part of it. They just like carve it out. It's part, it's part of the whale's ear. Huh. I didn't know whales had ears, to be honest. Like, like actual like ear pieces. I thought they just had like holes. Why so small? I, I guess so. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought it was like an actual, like, just a hole in the side of their head that acted as their ear. Oh, well, sounds like that's what an ear is, though. Yeah, but I mean, like, I didn't expect a hole that we have in the side of our head. Well, right? but we have ear lobes. <laughs> you didn't expect a whale to have an ear lobe. <laughs> kind of what I'm. It's like an ear fin. I, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, back to the poker. It's queen, queen, four, flop. <laughs> Turn's pretty fun. Yeah. Give Sam two pair. Don open ended now. Two different plus draws on board. Don's back up playing as a represent some sort of spade or hearts holding. Don does bet 325. Sam's going to put in the call. And that looks like a five on the river. I think it's five of hearts. Yep, does complete. Don holding the king of hearts. Maybe he reps it. He does not, just checks it over. Sam does take down another one. Again, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us for this 510 No Limit Hold'em game we have for you tonight. And tonight's live stream will go to about 11 o'clock. And then 
the next time you see us on the live stream will be Sunday night for the main event final table. 300K guarantee to cap off Destination Run Good. Year two of the Run Good Poker Series making its way to Best Bet Jacksonville. I would hope there's a year three in order. It's been a fun series every time they've rolled through. Yeah, I would say so. It seems like they, they've been having a good time every time they're here, so it'd be nice to see them here for sure. Deuce five nine flop rainbow board. Sam does hit a deuce. Fours are in the lead right now. Look at these holdings: pocket fours, pocket trays, and tray deuce. Back door to hearts for Sam. Legend has it, Kevin. That's fair. So the battle of the low pocket pairs. A king on the turn. And Dean gonna go ahead and. Bet 125 here. Perry lets it go immediately. Dean uh, bluffing with the best hand. Takes it down. Of course, the final day one taking place tomorrow. Day 1C of the main event starts right at noon. 30K starting stack, 40 minute levels. Registration will be open until the start of level 10. 50 seat one race. Mm -hmm. Hold around. Kevin takes a walk, collects the blinds. Yeah, I think for the rest of the rest of the spring going into the summer, and all these players are going to start getting ready for the WSOP. Is that uh, getting closer and closer to WSOP time? All right, so Doc Nato, Ace Seven. Puts in the raise. Both points put in the call. Dean and Karn. 510 deuce flop, two clubs. So Dean hits a five. Nine completes clubs. Dean does hold the ace of clubs as well, so he's got a pair. Not the kind of card Don Nato was looking for on the turn. No. Probably see him snap fold after Dean bets out half pot. Oh, yeah. I was out here when the action tracking, Kevin and Perry both put out their uh, blinds and they were still a few blinds away. Button on Dean. Karn in the small. John in the big. Puts in the raise. Sam puts in the three bet. Ace king versus ace queen. So far. Nato just gonna call. Catch that ace high flop. Ace king two. So Donk Nato, top two pair. Sam really only beaten by ace king here. See that of 75. Alnado can continue to play it as if he has a weaker ace, just flat calling. 
So the five of spades comes out. Donk holding the ace of spades. Sam drawing dead. Cannot improve anymore. Sam is going to put together a bet here. That's 500 after Donk Nato checked it to him. Goes with the over bet. Two dimes, two spades on board. So let's see what Donk Nato likes to do here. And it really looks like Donk Nato has something like ace jack, ace 10. What Sam's targeting here. For Don Canedo, you have top two. It looks like he uh, is going to put together a check raise here. Raise. 1600 to check raise. And Sam going to try to replay the action. The only problem here is. Nato could have a lot of two pairs, like Ace Five suited, for example. This pot's uh, ballooned up all of a sudden. A complete blank on the river. Nine of clubs. Dream card for Don Nato there. He wants the brick because now if Sam was level leveling himself into thinking that Don Nato was doing this as a semi bluff, all the draws missed. Yeah. You see, you see Don Nato holding that Ace of Spades. Sam thinks maybe Donato check raise turn with you know ace jack ace ten of spades for example. Wow, and he is gonna jam it all in right on Sam here. Sam hates the spot he's in. Yeah, and as you mentioned, uh, all the straights miss, all the flushes miss. See Sam's holding no spades and no diamonds in his hands, so unblocking all the bluffs. Let's take a look over at Donk Nato to see how much he has. Hot size shove. Yeah. <laughs> Sam getting less than two to one for his money. Uncomfortable being put in this decision point. Yeah. Just trying to piece it together. If the Donknado is bluffing, what could he be t potentially be bluffing with here? Queen Jack of Diamonds. Yeah. Jack Ten of Diamonds. Something that he would open with. Call a three bet. His name applies to spades, really queen jack of spades, jack ten of spades. Looks like he's going to want to let it go. A little move up there with the cards. See him double check, maybe he's checking out the suit it suits one more time of his ace and queen. Say he's not blocking him and does let it go. Doc Nato does take down a decent sized pot. That might have been our biggest hand of the night. I think Don and Don and Sam, Sam earlier, yeah. That one's that one's still probably the biggest one. But that one was up there too. One of the most interesting hands of the night, that's for sure. Oh, definitely. All going back to Donk Nato's flat call free flop. Yeah. And just like that, now Donk Nato is up the most, up almost 4K. Sam's still up a bit. Karn is up. Dean is up. Everyone is either up four digits or they're stuck four digits. So no in between. And then there's a look at the V pip. Don, 40% V pip. It's uh, again pretty high for Don. Don likes to average between 32 to 35 percent for his V pip. Uh, so seeing him in the 40s, that's a little higher than usual for him. We have officially hit our two-hour mark on the live stream. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. 
go off to a double board hold on bomb pot as they've been doing on every dealer change. You see Sam flops all of it on the top board with his pocket seven. So when he bets out, everybody just lets it go. Nobody even had a piece on the bottom. Sam was kind of hoping for multi-way action there. Sam gets no resistance and takes it down. So what good spot have you gone to here? Me and him are down. Yeah. Me and him are always down, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tonight. Pretty much. The close up. So we drove by the uh, the gen bar today. That was cool. So like, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, uh, back on. Pretty bad, guys. Pretty bad. That's my bad. I didn't. I didn't give. Uh, I didn't give these cards. Okay. Yeah. You don't have those. Yeah. We're gonna redo on that one. Woo! Take them back. Take them back. We should have told them is where all the churches were. That's right. I, I've never been. I've never been to one, so I could not tell you where one of those are at. I'm sure there's plenty. Though. Twenty-five to go. Perry raising it up with the Jack-10 suited. With a small open to 25. Gets around the car and he's going to three bet with the 87 suited trying to kind of isolate there. It's a limper, but John, playable queen Jack suited, going to put in the call from the small blind. Came down and he's Jack-5. Karn does pop the best of it with his pair of aces. The other two flop a jack and they check it over to Karn. <coughs> Comes throughout the C-bet. Goes with a full pot size, 225. John C. going to call with some back doors in addition to his pair of jacks. Harry getting out of there. John and Mario over there. Yeah, of course. Turn. Trey goes check, check. Now River, the case jack, gives John the best hand. Gonna bet about half pot, 325. John C. gonna take this one over. Comes to the right conclusion and lets it go. John picks up a pot, rivering the trip. Might have gotten paid off of the river two pair instead. I'll take the chips nonetheless. Uh, hybrid asking about the timestamp of the biggest hand. I think honestly, one of the biggest hands was about five in with uh, Don E, if I remember correct. It's all early fireworks in the stream before everybody could get settled in. Like monster on monster. A lot of big hands early. Chips flew. But a little bit of a lull until a little bit ago. A little bit ago between uh, Dolph Nato and Sam there. Kevin with nine, pretty happy to put it on the call from a small blind. Sam in position with the bigger pair, but on a flop of 10 8, 7, Kevin flops open ended. 
That's the reason why. Well, it doesn't really matter. But do you know why? I've been putting in the call. I did that. Now, card neither player wants to see in the ease of club. It's <laughs> nothing to do with me. Or yeah. my personality or the shark tooth. Number <laughs> five. Oh, she did. I'm going to check it over to Sam. Just going to check it back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get value. <laughs> Too many worse hands. Uh, drag a small uh, pot. <laughs> Pretty action killing run out we got there. <laughs> She's like, all right, that's uh, John's not working. Oh, he's like, no. He'll <laughs> do better with me. You died for us? No, I. Uh, does he look like a diver? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's sink right to the bottom. <laughs> I intentionally sat by him to throw him off because my physique's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I can mention yeah. this with your boy the other day. It's all the wine. Yeah. Um, I think it's this was from a friend who traveled to North Carolina who went to a scuba shop and he dived specifically for them. Kevin limped from the button. Is Don Nato going to check his option from the straddle? It'll just be those two. Also an 8 6 tray rainbow flop. Seven sixes in the lead. He's going to bet one check two. And that's going to do it for that hand. Thirty more. That's it. Kevin, it's been rather quiet tonight. A few times that he has stepped out, he stepped into it. He's trying to get some things going there for a while, and it seems like every time he uh, attempted to make a move, he just ran right into it. That's why we see him the bottom on both the uh, B pip and the leaderboard in terms of winnings on the night. Not a lot of hands to speak of and not a lot of spots to pick off. Oh, Sam, pocket jack. Dean immediately looking down at Ace Queen suited. Put in the flag call rather than the three bet with that Ace Queen suited. Karn happy to come along with nine seven suited. Kevin happy to come along with ten eight suited. And all of them are sharing diamonds. Perry on the button with Queen nine. He was the button straddler for the quarter, so he's coming along for a discount. Swap comes down king, queen seven, two clubs. Dean with the best hand right now, second pair. Checks all around to Perry, who also checks second pair. Up to a board pair and king might make Dean and Perry feel a little bit better about their hands. So we saw Dean lead out. Karn called with his seven. Perry thinking about it. Just gonna let it go. <laughs> Purple. Did I get <laughs> River tray. Off suit. Dean's hand's gonna be best one actually goes check check and he's gonna take this one down. What the go? Does this guy know what cards I have? No. Oh. We don't see the cards. Well, if he died, I, if he did, I'm gonna like look at his face to get a read. Like, wow! You know what I mean? Like on you guys, I'm be like. But no, all, all we get all over there, not. we get a color. If it turns blue, it means your card's red. If it turns it's yellow, your card's haven't read yet. You know when we have black deck? What's up? Wow. Black deck. You know when we have black deck? <laughs> <laughs> insurance. <laughs> it, it turns green. Play stops. We're gonna ask everyone if they want insurance real quick. We're not gonna tell you who has it. You just gotta guess. <laughs> I played with a guy that like forgot he was playing blackjack and he turns over and says, "Oh shit!" It's <laughs> not blackjack. Wow. Fifty bucks in the hat and the eight. All right, Karn with Queen Ten. Gonna open it up. 
Holden making a 50 to go. Very <laughs> open, he's just going to take it down. Did you guys put the Heartland Poker Tour out of business? <laughs> No. What happened? Pandemic. The pandemic? Yeah. That's the only that's the only See, poker tournament I was good at. Unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately. Don't try to get me canceled. Like, hey, no. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh it's they were uh, they were powerhouses it was. Yeah. Uh, Again, Karna opened to 50. This time he's not going to get a walk, as we saw. Don put in the call, and now Don Nato from the button with Ace Queen. Looks like he's reaching for some black chips. Going to three bet. Made it 250 to go from the button. See it. Get through Karn. Don, he's getting frisky. He's going to put in the call. Both him and Don Nato pretty deep stacked. So a king at 9-4 flop. Don actually out flopping Donknado here with a pair of fours. Check. I'm gonna check it over. A pair of fours obviously tough to withstand too much resistance if Donknado fires out a C bet. Easily have that king that's on board. Goes with a small continuation of 175. Don puts in the check raise, reading that bet for weakness. Don going with his read of the situation here. Don Nato. Reaching for some chips. Puts in the call. He's going to continue to rep the big hand. Five of diamonds on the turn. Don was planning to represent some sort of flush draw on that flop. He's going to happily fire here. That's what he does. Fires out a thousand. Don Nato just going to confirm that his ace through. is a heart. Put cool. in the fold. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's Will you give me a fucking hand? I just thought you were. That's fair. I don't choose. It's hard to make a fantasy. He don't use. <laughs> you sure? We look alike. Everyone confuses us. people, guys. <laughs> Remember that. Man, Don dragged in a pot. Heck of a comeback as we saw him get stuck very early on to the stream. He was actually down about 3,000 half an hour in. Now, building on his profit for the night. Could be some good news for everybody later on. Four, four, six, four, seven. Keep extending, Great. building his chip stack. <laughs> in the meantime, Karn gets a walk in the big blind. Uh, there's snacks for uh, the right. tournament. Like a bottle of water. <laughs> Gingle, <laughs> So Perry does put the $25 straddle on during the two seat. Twenty-five <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like, all right, whatever. Can you fold around? Karn's gonna wake up with a playable hand though, and Queen Jack. Just gonna limp in. John gonna call out with a big blind with King Deuce. Harry checks his option with the Queen Seven. Looks like the Deuce is gonna be in the lead for John when it came down nine Deuce Trey. John, the only player with a pair. Bet's out and that takes it down. Not a big pot for John, but a pot nonetheless, especially 
Oh, the big blind. He'll take it. Don gonna follow the trend, put in the under the gun straddle of his own. Say donut. What kind of donut? Sam going to get back to work, raising it up to 75 with pocket eights. Harry, King Queen going to call the big line of Don with tens in the straddle. Puts in the call. <laughs> I call this uh, <laughs> his first day. His first first day. day. Cool. Don under repping the pocket tens with that black call. Great news for Sam when he flops a middle set on Jack 8 5 Rainbow. Perry decides to lead right out. Don doesn't believe him and puts in the call. So now Sam sitting here with middle set. Both players putting in the money. He is just going to smooth call. All right, we got three of you. Try to keep those players around. Now five on the turn fills him up. It's great news that he's able to continue slow playing his hand if he likes. Not worried about any straights. Backdoor flush is coming in since he bowed it up. Don thinking his tens are best. Bets out 300, a half pot bet. Sam reaching for chips. Thought he might be tempted to slow play. Instead, he's going to raise it up to 800, try to build this pot. Well, especially with Perry in there, flat call might try to keep Perry around, but said he's going to try to start building this thing up, putting Don on a jack or a five. The off chance that Don has like 9-10, for example, you want to charge the draw as well. Just gonna let it go. I think if Don has a jack, he does stick around. Here, Don say he should have raised pre flop. I'm gonna have to look at that one later. I pulled a big one. I you could fall. Unless you have jack, because I was winning. You have like ace five and ace. And don't need to watch it back Bye. now, Don. Is you get the good news that you re-raised -re pre-flop just would have made it things worse. Okay, you buy or you Charlotte? Which one you want to do? Don, Once again, appreciate everybody tuning in, hanging out with us for this 5-10 No Limit Hold'em game coming to you. Short delay. Best bet here in Jacksonville, Florida. We are a couple of hours into the coverage so far with a couple of hours still to go around the midway point. We go off the three-way flop. Queen, nine, tray, rainbow board. John's pocket fours are best when it checks to him, he's gonna bet it. Kevin with a gut shot straight draw. Weighing his options. Does have a player to act behind him yet, Dean. We're gonna see him let it go. Dean with Squadouche has to fold, and John's going to drive one in. John went a couple of small pots so far. Obviously, the big ones are what did him in early on. Losing a couple of huge hands. The biggest being to Don there in the three seat. And did some of the damage that he took early on. Back to two blinds, now we got a Looks like Don 
Nato's going to get in the mix with the straddling. There's a couple of players starting to put it on. Could evolve into a 5-10-25 game. Or it may just uh, be about half and half. Quite a few players put the straddle on. Dean with King Jack going to raise it up. It's at 65 to go. John, City Connectors, 65 of clubs, going to put in the call. Perry coming along with Jack 7 suited. Don with Ace Jack out of the big blind. Looks like he is going to 3 bet. Donna does raise it up to 260. Let's see if this gets all the way through. If anybody wants to put in the call. It looks like Perry's going to put in the call at Jack 7 of clubs. So this be these two heads up to the flop. Don in a dream spot where he gets to play the hand in position. Perry checks over the 6 deuce yeah. deuce flop. Don throws out a continuation bet. It's a little less than half pot, betting 300. Perry just jack high. Not even a back door to let it go, and Don drags in a pot. I have a diamond. Somehow they never do. I'm pretty sure we have pretty similar hands and all like this, except you and I'm Suited. Kevin happy to call in position. Go set mine with fours. Perry from the button with a suited wheel ace. Happy to call. Don Nato puts in the call himself. Five ways to the flop of ten high, which gives Dean and John both top pair. Dean was the pre-flop raiser. He's going to fire out the seabed. John's going to call. Everybody else gets out of the way. So it'll just be Dean and John heads up to the turn, which comes down another 10. Both of these players are three of a kind. Dean, the better kicker. And they're both slow playing it when it actually goes check check on that turn. Ace of clubs on the river, so the front door flush comes in. Ian's going to check it. John's going to value bet. Ian's going to sway his options between calling and raising here. Trying to figure out, can he get called by worse? Obviously hard to put his opponent on a 10. Or is he just put in the call? He thinks he's only getting called by flushes if he raises. John with... One of the only hands boys. that is worse that might have put in the call. <laughs> Dean picking up some chips there. Trips over trips. We got a clean river. Could have gotten a lot more interesting. Go back to Carolina tonight. I'm going to play tomorrow. We'll go play tomorrow. I'll play tomorrow night. Tournament or this? I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Um, I was going to play the tournament. Tomorrow's a uh, 2-5 deep, right? There's no stream. There's no stream. No stream. No stream. Just because just oh, there should be. Yeah. Bigger players are probably going to play a tournament. Yeah, yeah. They're going to go over play. Uh, straddle. I'm not sure if I'm going to go over there. That's a 5 and like... Players were discussing their plans for tomorrow. Heard them point out there will be no stream tomorrow night. No stream allows the bigger cash game players to jump into the Saturday flight of the main event. 
It's all $75 raise. <laughs> Went four ways to a Jack 88 flop. Don in the lead with Jack. Check. Check. Ash is going to check around to him. Two and keep. Two and keep. Take it down without too much trouble. Okay, Mikado says Don playing a little in tilt tonight, splashing the pot like crazy. Yeah, we saw him uh, mixing things up early and often from the start of the game. He did get into a big pot where he was down, threw a bunch of chips to pretty much cover the table, and then has actually climbed back to being up a little bit now. But continuing to stay very active in this game. Been driving the action. And churches. And churches. And churches. <laughs> Getting in there and mixing it up pretty often. <laughs> Don't see why he's going to stop anytime soon, that's for sure. Harry uh, just taking one down. Yeah, Mercado says uh, Don's a good player. He sure is. I, I'm finding it really enjoyable watching him being the aggressor on the table for once, too. Usually, uh, He's one to play back at some of the more aggressive players we see on stream. I generally don't see him kind of taking the offensive role. So it's been fun to watch. Just to see him from a different perspective. See Sam raise it up from the button. Just like Lines and John at the original free fall flipper all come along. Four ways, Jack, 10, 5, all diamonds. Huge flop for Karn, just flopping the flush. It'll be hard for him to get any value though as he bets out everybody snap folds. I don't know what you're supposed to do that spot. Nobody had a hand worth sticking around with. Would come run around or die. I know, right? That's what I was like. Chop yeah. like, <laughs> oh. it up. Yeah. And PLO, you're supposed to do right? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to tell you he's got cards and I'm taking over. I'm going to run over. Is anyone know this is okay? That's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So as has been tradition, players are all anteing up, doing the $50 double board hold them bomb pots on each dealer change. That's how they've been paying the time rake, as well as spicing it up from time to time. We've seen a couple of big pots, a couple of quiet pots in these bomb pots so far. What's up, man? What's up? 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 What's up?
bottom board. He's obviously looking for a flush. Dean with a lock on the top board. Continues betting here. Sam. A check raise. Dean now puts in the call. Hey Ryan, can you get somebody to put some of the games on those TVs? Somebody AKA me? Is that what you're saying? If you happen to have the time. It doesn't have to be you. Thank you. So an ace came on that bottom board. Sam actually just checked it, gaining some showdown value, and they inevitably went off to a chopped pot. Anti-climactic ending to that hand. Neither one tried to blow the other one off of it on the river. All right, so we are at the halfway point, so let's go ahead and show stats. And that's how things look. And uh, yeah, Sam is back on top being the big winner. Docnado up, Dean up, Karn up. Don has worked his way back to saying even for the most part. John is the one that is the most stuck at the table. At 5K, it's been a little bit of a rough night for him. And the V-pips have kind of evened out a bit. 21% and above. Uh, John's V-bip now 38%, was 50% at one point. But uh, that's the way things look as we are at our halfway point on the live stream tonight. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. Looking at day 1B right now. 42 players remain in that field. We will be taking either 24 players out of the field or if it ends at level 14, which is still a little bit of a ways away from that, we are at level 11 right now. About ready to get into level 12. So whatever comes first. So I was a little wrong uh, in saying that everyone that makes day two will be in the money. It just kind of depends. Uh, it's one of those deals where like not everyone in day two could potentially make the money, depending on if level 14 comes before the 12 and a half percent. So we could still be playing to a money bubble uh, tomorrow on day, or on Sunday on day two. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah. I was just chatting with my group as to whether or not they were going to go up. Yeah. All right, so King Jack suited for Don. It's in the raise to 50. It's been a very interesting game. Um, John now the short stack with only 780 uh, behind Jack 710, two hearts. So John does swap two pair. Don with pair of jacks, really good kicker, and some back doors, and he's on bet 75 here. Now six on the turn. We could have seen that Don continue firing on, but let's just check back. And now Queen on the river. Jack 10 is going to be good, and John's going to go ahead and fire out a bet of 155. John And Don does call, so John gets a little value out of it. I said it's been a very interesting game. Definitely yeah, Early on was kind of crazy. Everybody kept waking up with monster hands. Yeah. In like the first orbit. Thank you, buddy. So it was one of those games where nobody got to feel each other out early, then they all had to feel each other out a little bit afterwards, and now everybody's kind of settling in. Well, it's also a deal where, like, I kind of pointed this out uh, off mic a little bit ago. For the amount of chips that's on this table, with things settling down the way they were, it seems like now, like only thirty percent of the chips that's actually in on the table is actually is what's being put in play. Yeah, we've seen a lot of pre-flop aggression, kind of get the job done. And as Caddy Mix said, nobody making any glaring mistakes. It's hard to get stacks in when everybody's sitting five hundred big blinds deep if nobody's making any mistakes. Yeah. But well, here we go. Look at this. We got pocket queens, king seven suited, heads up here with Don and Karn, and oh my gosh. Set of queens for Karn. That's 125. Don putting in the call. 
Oh my gosh. It turns a heart. Wow. With, uh, Quads for Karn now, and Don has the second nut flush draw. So River Heart could be Carnage. Uh huh. I see what you did there. I, I mean, you have to, right? Oh. It's like fortunate for Don, it's the other red suit. Coming down 10 of diamonds, not a heart. Don looks like he's going to bluff at it, though. Yeah, he Represent the bluff. front door flush draw. Yeah. I mean, it does complete diamonds, though. Yeah, that's what Don, Don calls flop. He can represent the diamonds here. Yeah. Luckily for him, he doesn't have it because Karn's going to raise. Yes. Uh, what he likes I'm to a put genius. in. I can predict the future. <laughs> Sick read, I know. Yeah, right. But, uh, obvious raise coming in. and Fortunately for Karn, Don does not have the diamonds. So obviously, that's what he was targeting and hoping. And he doesn't show. Doesn't show the quads. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, high hand doesn't qualify for this table anyway because it's a time rate game. But I don't know. If I would have hit quads, I would have been happy about that one. <laughs> Karn, not one to have to show too much during this section. Right. No reason to give away. I guess some info there. That he uh, see bets top set potentially. We've seen Garn. Garn take down a lot of pots without showdown. Yeah. Non showdown winnings line is just through the roof. And honestly, those might be the best. It's just tough for anybody to figure out. Yeah, no one, yeah, no one can peg, uh, peg you for anything it has. Uh, Scott asking, why doesn't high hand count for this table? Uh, the players pay a time rake yep. rather than a uh, per pot rake. And they, uh, don't participate or pay into the bad beat or high hand. Correct. Promotions. Yeah. Yeah. No. No jackpot is being collected on this uh, on this table since they are playing time rate. Say a lot of a lot of times the reason players opt for a time rate game, in, uh, bigger cash games, is just because they're playing with bigger denomination chips. Mm -hmm. So they don't need the dealer making change every single hand. It applies to both the rake and the jackpot. Speeds the game up. They don't worry about blue chips. Sometimes in the bigger games, it just plays mostly green chips, so bringing it all the way down to ones and fives would be time consuming. And at that point, when they're playing for that much money, they're not sweating the high hand as much either. Right. Especially tonight, it's uh, 300 every 30 for tonight, so I mean, we're seeing that pre flop. Especially if this game pumps up to a 5, 10, 25 like it likes to do most of the time. Yeah, kind of weird it has it tonight. I think Don flirted with it. We saw a couple orbits ago where uh, four players in a row straddled, but then it just dissipated. Yeah. And now Dean has aces. Raises up to 75. Kevin put in the call with sevens. And Perry. Whoa. Three bet on the button. Ace Jack offsuit. That's uh, going to be music to Dean's ears. Time to reopen this thing. I'm trying to figure out what he wants to make it. Imagine yeah. he doesn't just want a flat call. Right. Him and Perry are very deep, so you don't want to give him too nice of a price. Yeah, four bet incoming. And you still got Kevin in the hand, too. Who felt yes. like Another reason not to flat call and allow Kevin to come in for cheap with something like pocket seven. Right, which could be a hand that could crack your aces. Now the four bet to 700, and Kevin's like, oh, geez. All right. Kevin's just had one of those nights where every time he tries to get in there, he just can't. Yeah, I mean, he <laughs> is going to let go of the sevens. It's frustrating. Yep, and Perry, who's not afraid to mix it up, going to put in the call with ace jack offsuit. And Perry does play this hand in position. 8 10 6 is two spades on the board, and Perry is holding the jack of spades. Got a continuation bet. Not holding the ace of spades. They seem to go a little bit bigger than a very small size. So you went half pot, 700. Seems just about right. Yep.
deliberation there. We see Perry let it go. Seems like he was thinking about maybe pulling something. Thought better of it, just gets out of there. They stream the uh, final table, I assume? Yep. Yes, sir. That'll be on Sunday as well. Typically, for main events, we usually do three days. This time, it's going to be a late night. I'm What's the prize pool looking like? It's 300k guarantee, so. So that's, that's the guarantee? That's the guarantee, yeah. I'll say it smashes it. <laughs> <laughs> So I was talking about live streaming, final yeah, table of this run good at main event. Yep, we'll be coming to you live from the final table on Sunday night. Yeah, usually we get that going around 8 p.m. It really just depends on when we get to the final nine, plus how many players do actually make day two. It's kind of fighting with Tampa a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, some little series. What's that? Queen. We're already at the flop. I see a queen on the flop. Queen, king, jack. So, uh, Karn hits a king. It's not the greatest flop in the world for trays. Perry's going to have to let it go. But yeah, like I said, usually we are able to get the final table going around 8 o'clock or so. We're going to watch it. I have a buddy, we were at a tour stop, and uh, about 10 o'clock, I was, was just had like a client call, and uh, messaged me, he's like, hey, you want to eat breakfast? I'm like, okay, and he's like, oh, you know, I'll meet you down here, and he's like, oh, give me 30 minutes, I'm going to take a, a tow. I can say that was true, right? Okay, it's legal here, right? You've already sold it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said, I already said. Uh, about heroin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I was like, yeah, I'll give you 30 minutes. Like, I'll meet you, you know, at high limit. And I had this thing I always like to do, like, you know, I'll go check video poker, ultimate X, and see if anyone left the bonuses. You know, multipliers just sit around. And I found one at a $50 play. And I had a pocket, I put 500 bucks into it, and I smashed uh, Diamond Royal. 12 pounds. Oh, one spin. Oh. And then you bought the money. And I just bought the fuck. <laughs> I gave that money back. I was like, you know what? I'm done here. So, I. Probably better than money. That's right. It's going to hold its value by more than cash. I mean, I wish I would have bought Bitcoin, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it. Oh. Kevin finally gets off the schneid and drags in a pot. Our uh, store back in 2012 online for selling t shirts. And I remember distinctly because uh, a gentleman emailed in asking if he could buy a shirt with Bitcoin. And I was like, what the fuck is Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that shirt. Wow. Yeah, just, yeah. just sell the shirt with the yep. Bitcoin, now it would have been worth. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I wish you saw that email saved, but it's, yeah, it still haunts me. You should go mm. fight it and be like, hey, you, you forgot to send that. <laughs> yeah. What year was it? 2012. Yeah. Oh, so, so early. That's like, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. Like peak time. Yeah, it's peak time. Probably would have paid him like, like 29 oh, bitcoins for the shirts. Like the guy that bought pizza with the bitcoins. Yeah. Oh, seven. Oh, I'm sure there's some people that have held since then, but like human nature, like, it would be super helpful yeah, for four years. Yeah, for sure. Almost like the guys who do like sports cars, they just find that random $100 car in the attic. Yeah. 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 Flop actually checked through with Queen Queen 5. Dean didn't get rewarded for his uh, smooth call of Ace King Pre to under rep. I was literally I was literally playing your turn and Perry. Gonna fold the 8. And I put Dean on the hand. I had her like. You know, I was because I didn't have access to my wallet, so I had I was like teaching her how to sell it. Yeah. And she sold like a bunch of it for me. Did it drop? Or yeah. Did it <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have sold in. Right, well, but back then it was like it was like 57. And then right right when that happened, it just tanked. 
for mm. years. He's, they still hold it, they just not accept it. Yeah. They have like 5,000 victims still in the treasury. Oh really? Treasury. Yeah. I didn't know that, that's, mm. that's good to hear. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't dump it all, they just... I thought... They just held on to it. I thought the board of investors were, were like, not going to let them do it, so... Yeah, they just stopped taking payment, but it's still part of their books. I actually just bought a Model Y, and I asked them, I go, yeah, so that time, they're like, man. Like, I thought you did. I thought you did. The new Model Y is just sick. John, <laughs> raise it up. Everybody comes over to him. I'm gonna, Harry, gonna call Queen 8. Karn getting out of there. Just John and Harry heads up to the flop. Now he's trade deuce. Both players flopping top pair here. John having it out kicked. Perry raises it up after John Sebets. Could get Perry in trouble here if we get a clean run out. Could be a much needed pot for John as he's had a rough go of things. Water. Five of clubs. Beautiful card for John. He's got the second nut plus draw. Perry rips it. Which is basically a pot sized bet since John only has about seven, eight hundred behind. And there is the call from John. He can fade a queen. He'll be doubling up here with his king eight. And a queen. It's just a disgusting, disgusting summary of John's night on that first run out. So they do get to chop it. John's not dead yet, but can't get it in much better than that. Oof. <laughs> yeah, just unfortunate for John. He didn't hold for the pure double like he should have. It's just been one of those nights for John. You know, cause like, I don't know, for me, right, I play blackjack and plus you start with 100 bucks and run up to like 3k, and you lose 3k, it's still only lost 100 bucks. <laughs> so, so, right? I guess it's only yeah, for his sake, though, on that one, I'm glad they ran it twice. <laughs> yeah, so they ran it once, oh boy. John, John was already uh, getting up, ready to go. When you go to the room, do you feel like it's all you lost? 10 8 9 rainbow board. What you're saying is definitely factual. I think that's Broadway now. Nope, never mind. Perry does have a pair of jacks now. Does have the Broadway draw still though. What are they on? What are they on? I don't know. Y'all tell me when you find out. When you find out, that'll make me sense. Watching the nine on a river. Huh? Watching video games on the internet. Whatever that is. John is gonna fire out the bet here. Right. Yeah, watch the TikTok. Oh yeah. But they're gonna ban it, right? Are they? Well, I'm not talking about those young people. I'm talking about those young people. Perry lets it go. John does get a bluff through it. The problem is, is that they're not. They're not. They're not inventors anymore. They're not like coming up with it. They're, they're consumers now. Uh, we got the, one big blind there. There's a lot of young people that are straddling the thing. Crazy shit. It's just which one is going to be the next Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is he going to buy it? Yeah. Uh, he didn't miss anything. I didn't get on Twitter in 1999. Oh, he didn't? Okay. I thought he missed something else. I just didn't know how to implement it. Yeah. I told my buddy, I was like, wouldn't it be interesting? Yeah, we had a lot of people that idea. 25 to go. Back when uh, Motorola had the waiting for phone, I was like, there should be a selfie stick for this. <laughs> and I wish oh, man. I would have so you were a young guy. Uh, hey, he's, yeah, he's yeah. a young guy. Yeah. That was, that's a little better idea than run good gear. <laughs> <laughs> I would retire I mean, way down. This down is a good there. idea, but that was a little better idea. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we all live up. 275. <laughs> Don went with a hefty three bet. Yep. 
King 10 suited. Also did straddle under the gun. Go fold around so Donald take down all that pre flop. Looks like we're heads up with Kevin and Don. Don with his nut flush draw. Does not connect. Kevin, pair of eights. But Don, nope, he's going to check it. And Kevin just elects to take a uh, showdown. <laughs> Big eight. Kevin does take that one down. Again, just a reminder, day 1C tomorrow, starting at noon, it's the final day one before day two of our main event, 300K guarantee. In the prize pool, we will definitely surpass that 300K tomorrow. Might get it up to half a mil in the prize pool, which would be a nice uh, payout for everyone that does make the money. And as always, guys, you can check out our website, bestbetjacks.com, for all the details when it comes to promotions, tournaments, live stream schedule, how many active tables are in each room, and much more, all there on the website, bestbetjacks.com. All diamond board, nobody holding diamonds. Don, top pair with the 10s. He's going to bet... And everyone's gonna fold. And again, just a reminder that will not be a live stream tomorrow, uh, but we will have final table action of our main event on Sunday night. Whenever we do get down to our final nine, which will most likely be around 8 p.m. on Sunday night. April promotion schedule as well as April tournament schedule for all the rooms is up on the website as well. So you can download those and take a look. See what's all coming up. Wow, Kevin, Pocket Kings puts in the raise and then Perry immediately three X's Kevin's raise on in the cut in the hijack. Looks like Kevin He's lining up a four bet. He does put in the four bet. Four fifty. Perry puts in the call. He's ten suited. This is uh, turning into a big pot between these two. So we are heads up with Kevin and Perry, and we got a flush draw for Perry. All in call. So they're going to run it twice. They've been running it twice most of the night tonight. Back on the turn, Kevin ends up getting trips on the river, gets the set. And Kevin takes it down. 
Kevin, both runouts clean. Somehow, some way, Perry missed a flush on both those runouts, and Kevin gets himself a nice pot. And here, Perry, oh, I run good. That, that one stung. Ran it twice and was not able to catch an ace or a spade on any of those runouts. How do you do it? Wow. Yeah. Couldn't connect with either one. That's two runouts. That's uh, that's a little frustrating. Don puts in a raise with Queen Deuce. Wow, Sam puts in the uh, rebet, 225, Jack 10 suited, and that's going to be the end of that one. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us, appreciate you guys watching. Like what you're watching, like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Boated up, fours full of eights. For Kevin with his two overs, and he does catch an ace on the river. Wow, Karn over bets the pot. That's 500. Very, very fishy. <laughs> Here, Kevin, I just got these. Fortunately, your three pair is no good. He does put in the call. The Karn gets the maximum. Max value. Over bets the pot gets Kevin to call him. And just like that, three hours down, two more to go. V Pips first, Perry 41%, Dean, Don, John, and Karn all 30% and above. Kevin and Sam 22%. Doc Nato kind of looks like he shut it down a little bit. 19% V Pip. I haven't really seen much of them, and that could be partly the reason why. Up 3,000 for him. Sam up 38.16. Karn up 24.65. Dean is up 22.70. Perry and John right now are the two players that are the most stuck at the table. <laughs> I always saw him a small line in the bottom pot, yeah. Such a great transition point. First to bluff. That's right. That's right. <laughs> nice, a bomb pot time. Oh, an eight-way bomb pot. Seven-way. Whatever. Except for the ghost. Nine-eight tray, top board. Ace, king, queen, bottom board. 202. 
Looks like Perry put in 200. So the action is going around. Perry's at 10 7. And Perry's going to take it down. Bet and take for Perry. Fire trucks where? Oh, wow. Mm. Is she okay? <laughs> you gotta stay in the same place? All right, so the action will continue here. In the rain right now? This 5-10 Nolan Mahoda game. I almost asked you, I was like, do you need, do you need another ride? I figured you'd ask me if you needed it. Eat it like the ride last time, so it's like, I got a ride for this. Call seven. Fifteen to go. He was uncomfortable for that bluff to that huge one. But he got back to right. We got four of you. Five first half of the Jack 10 suited. It's raising up over a $25 straddle. It's flat called rather than three both the East 10. Vice Perry to come along from the straddle. Don going to flop the best of it. We flop the top pair with the Jack here. Halfway throws out a C bet with top pair when check two. That's going to take it down for Don. Straddle back on again as it's Don's turn this time around. Kevin on the small blind, gonna bump it up to 75. Perry with an ace, gonna let it go. Don, not gonna defend with the nine tray. Yeah, we do not, but Kevin. it took too long to do that. Yeah, she was just here. Oh, she was just here. Oh, I guess she was legit this year. I missed her right before I pushed in. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's right. Well. Next is the ninja. Comes to go. Yeah. Coach Trottle on this hand, just the usual 5-10, no limit hold'em game coming to you from Best Bet in Jacksonville, Florida. Sam bumps it up to 30 with the Queen Jack suited. So far, John, the only caller. It's a Perry. He's got pocket trays going to come along, and now Don has a big for a discount. 
going to call it queen seven. Flop mm -hmm. ace, king nine, two hearts on board. Sam elected a continuation bet. Straight draw. John with a pair of nines. He's going to stick around, puts in the call for that 60. Will be just them two heads up going to the turn. Turn the brick and do some spades. Sam shut it down, checks it with John, who checks it back. River tray of clubs. Now Sam thinks that he can maybe get away with it. Well, he fires out. It works. Yeah. John lets it go. Well, if we would get seats four and six in the game. And seat three. Well, good chance at 10.25 is about to play. Oh, really? Not about. There's enough people. I believe it. Why turn you guys out? I do have to hop on a call at 9.30, so... I don't he really wants to chip. It feels like he really wants to get with you all. <laughs> he crushed the last three. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> <So bad. laughs> John will pay the five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> One wheel. So button shroud is actually going to be on this hand. Yeah. So no, it's a wheel here. Right, throw it on the two seat. Action just folding all the way around. Definitely down to 97, and there it is. Walk for the button shot a lot of parry. Actually, look down at an ace. Got an ace. It won't much. Don't use the bill this Jack of hearts. To go. Happily make it 50 to go. Good really parry. Yes. He's going to put in the call. Parry's in there with the 9 6. Dominado now, 8 6 suited. Going to come along and Sam. King 7 suited, closing the action on the big. We'll put in the call, take this multi way. Four ways we went to East and six, all spades flop. <laughs> I, th I heard it was supposed to be uh, better. Here he actually flops the best of really? a pair of sixes like, and the nine of spades in his hand. It says 50% at seven. Dean assembling a continuation seven, bet. Seven. Then at 11, it's 20%. May get the job done. Sure enough, it does. Is everybody has to let it go. Dean steals one away there with the seabed. How many? Uh, yeah. Bag, as they say. I just said nothing. I want you to know. Wow. How many do you know? 23. Yeah. You're so confounding. I seriously don't get fine. I don't actually have any answers. He throws out numbers and lies all the time. Hold it, go back. Hold one. But they're in the movie. No. Why no, no, no. ask him? <laughs> He's just gonna lie to you. Oh yeah. 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 I thought they they're playing ten percent. They're playing the bottom. No, no, it's twelve and a half percent. That's what they need. That's what they need to do it one way and then do it some other some different risk. They've been playing this month. They've been around for a couple days. They've been doing it. We got four. Well, they've been doing it. Previous to this tournament. Went four ways to this flop of eight, four deuce, Sam, pair and flush draw, John, opening straight draw, 
Oh, see John bet out, just take it down. I cannot believe Sam folded four trade of diamonds once he forgot they were throwing the diamonds there. When is the turn as far as something? Yeah. My last volleyball game. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 11, to, 11 to noon, I'd have to show up late. You won't be the first one to ever do that? You won't be the last one. Chuck ball and I'm pulled in the one. People do that for final day. One, ten, ten, two. Mario showed up last time late, like 30 minutes late. On the final day? Yeah, we did the first one out. <laughs> Perry steals the blinds. Straddle there with a raise. Open it up. Took it down. He was winning. Yes. Players, of course, talking about the main event in the Run Good series happening in the room. Right now, Flight 1B is underway in the main event. Flight C will be tomorrow. All the players remaining for day two, coming back on Sunday. Which we will be bringing the final table coverage of Sunday night when we get down to the final nine. Should be over half a million in the prize pool, the way things look. It's going to be close to it. It's going to be quite the tournament, quite the final table to sweat. 150 and 146. 150 Sweat. Dean's looking down at pocket queens with a three bet ahead of him. Oh, and a just oh, flat yeah. call rather than four bet his pocket queens. Man. Don the original over, oh, splashing yeah. around with 8-6, putting in the call. Off we go three ways. Ace, Jack, Deuce, all spades on board. Don Nato flops top two. Dean sitting here with the Queen of Spades. Check it over to Dean. Against two players on a three bet, three bet pot. Hard to know what Dean wants to do here. He's going to throw out a small bet. Don getting out of there now over to Don Nato. What's he want to do? Looks like just flat call this top two pair. Oh, heads up to a ten of diamonds on the turn. Dean adds a straight draw to his flush draw with his queens. Don Nato continuing to check. Formations. Don Nato is the three better pre flop. But Dean's done all the betting post flop. Fires again here on the turn. Pretty small bet in relation to the size of the pot. Right around a one third pot size bet. Maybe trying to get to the river for cheap, be able to check it back. Show a scary card come out. Before we get to that, Don Nato putting in that check raise. Doesn't believe Dean is betting with a hand stronger than his, raising for value. I'm going to call like the price of admission. Off to four diamonds on the river to brick. Don Nato's hand is still best. Does he bet for value or does he check it over? Value bet it's going to be. than half pot. And it's gonna get the job done. Dean has to let go of his pocket queens. Nato gets to drag a pot. 
That was a pretty interesting one there. Caddy asking if we have any favorite moments from the stream that we recall. I mean, really, in this stream, a lot of the action is early on. We saw early fireworks. A lot of big hands right from the beginning. Even 10 to 5 is very exhausting. The game's moving to 11. It's just competitive. It's then it's been uh, ebbing and flowing. More typical 5-10 no limit game fashion. Hasn't seen insane action or insane fireworks. A couple of big hands here and there. Oh, Nate, going to raise up a King 5 suited. Don originally put on a $25 straddle under the gun in his hand. Now Karn looking to mix things up, putting a 3 bet with a 4 tray. Doesn't get through Perry as he puts in the call. But it gets through the rest. So Perry with 10 8 offsuit, Karn with 4 tray offsuit. This is a 3 bet pot with those hands. Jack 7 deuce. Perry with a gut shot straight draw. Karn with just king high and the betting lead. Going to fire up the C bet. 225. That's 225. Perry going nowhere. Pretty quickly puts in the call. Hearts on the turn. Perry continues to check it over. Karn just checking it back. Board of pairing seven on the river. It's going to be a matter of who wants to bluff at this one. Check. Perry checks it over. Karn knows he's got to fire a bet. Let's throw one out. He gets to take this one down. Oh, good evening, Joseph. Asking how Don's doing tonight. He's right around even right now. He's been on a roller coaster. He uh, tried to go for a big bluff real early. Got picked off. Then he stacked an opponent shortly after. But since then, it's kind of been a little ups and downs for him as he's hovering right around even. They've been abusing it today, too. And I keep doing it. Believe me, I want it. Unlike me, he sees the cards. Straddle, 25 to go. Why does this guy keep straddling? Oh, four, six, oh, seven, 25 to go. It's a persistent straddler, Don. Walk? Walk for the gun and after all that talk about them stealing it, he gets a walk. <laughs> Just that he's not allowed to get any hands any longer <laughs> ever again. I won one big one, the very first hand, and then I decided to bluff it away, and then that's been the night. Bluff it away three times. <laughs> Nancy, do you have more waters? Yes. Nice. All of them. Ten to go. Oh, four, five, six. Need more on you, sir. Go. I'll take the cold one only. Yeah. Okay. Well, seven, eight. Can I give him my love? My love. Yeah. So so Thirty bucks from the one. Holds around to Kevin. He's going to bump it up from the bluff to King Jack. Don. Suited East Trey. Going to put in the three bet. Kevin caught and open. Kevin going to put in the call. Bottle or trap? Oh, sorry. Jesus. Bottle, bottle, bottle. I'm going to answer you. you. Know. you. John, I'm going to throw out the C bet. Kevin was just king high. Maybe he thinks Don's three betting him light. Put in a raise here. Don does, in fact, let it go. Kevin 
putting in a nice raise there to steal one away from Don. I had to tell you. <laughs> she has three times. Is that good of a hand? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, what is going on today? There's more bugs than usual. Yeah, there's Asshole. like... Asshole. I know I was batting one earlier. I mean, is it the wine? I don't get it. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I mean, they usually have gnats flying around, but it's not this many. I think it's the whining. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was a nickel. That was a nickel. <laughs> that was a nickel. <laughs> Buddy, I'm not complaining. I'm asking just general questions. <laughs> Look, I, lo I love wildlife as much as the next guy. Just curious why they happen to be surrounded by us. Why are you still talking? Call one gun to it. Call three more. <laughs> you got three of you. Three ways. Three plays. You got three, two, seven. Queen, Jack, ten. Two hard flop. Parry, top pair, and open ended. Dean with the ace of hearts. Got shot to Broadway. Throws out a continuation bet. Parry, obviously going nowhere. Decides to raise it up. Let go of his ace high, it looks like. Perry gets to take down a pot. Perry's been likely a pretty frustrating last hour or two. Hasn't really had anything going his way. Gets a drag out a pot there. Try and build some momentum towards himself. Two steps before I get my wine. That's what it's all about. Got a straddle in the tree. What? Yeah. We got a straddle. 25 to go. Fold in 467. 25 dollar straddle is on. Karn's gonna raise it up with the King 9 offsuit. Fold two. Alright, we got four of it. Raise 75, we went three ways to King, seven tray. Perry flops the flush draw. Karn flops top pair. Throws out the continuation bet. Perry just gonna rip it all in. <laughs> Karn asks for a chip count. Perry says, not much, don't worry about it. We're gonna just drop chips all over the place. Pretty hefty raise. So we've seen Harry's been pretty frustrated. Harn picks up on that. Might be pretty easy to put in the call knowing that. I did say I had to leave that This is true. Whatever happens there. All right. Harn puts in the call. All right. So off to two runouts. No club on the first one. Karn's King Nine fills up to stay the best hand. Club immediately on the second run out, so these guys are going to be off the chopping it up. Anti. Oh my god, the run out of the first one. <laughs> oh wow, decent. Chop, chop. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad leaving now. What's up to you, Leonard? I think we're doing all right over here. Having fun hanging out, watching this 5 10 no limit game. What's up to you, Lionel, as well? Thank you guys for tuning in, hanging out with all of us. To me, to me. <laughs> I deserve it. Choose me, choose me. This card puts the under the gun straddle on for 25. Either what is or close to be his last hand. So he has an important phone call to make and given the fact he's helped uh he's been one of the main contributors are running the Run Good company that's hosting the series here right now this week. Imagine when he has to take a phone call at something somewhat important. Call 
Initially raise it up to one and a quarter with Jack Eight suited. Two callers as they go off to a Queen Eight tray, two diamond flop. I give John top pair, Perry second pair. Perry throws out a continuation bet, 250. See John's gonna be going nowhere. He's gonna put in the call. Both players rather short sack, but easily get it in. Diamonds on the turn gives John Diamond flush draw, which he hits on the tray of Diamond River. He is going to bet for value parry pretty quickly. Going to let it go, and John's going to scoop in a nice little pot. Karn having to rack it up, call tonight. GG is to Karn. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with us. Say hi to God for me. Appreciate everything that he does. Operating this Run Good series has been a huge success this last week here at Best Bet in Jacksonville, Florida. We are main event weekend of that Run Good series. Light 1B going on in the background. Day 1C tomorrow. Kicking off at 12 o'clock. So day 2. Zooming on Sunday, where we'll be bringing the final table to you live when they get down to the final nine on Sunday night. So the raise of 30 from Sam. And three ways to a flop, where Dean flops open-ended and is electing to just bet right out rather than check it over to Sam, the pre-flop raiser. Saw John put in the call with a pair of trays, and then Sam gets out of there. King of diamonds on the turn. Neither one of these players holding a diamond at all. Dean checks it over. John checks back. A river ace of diamonds. So John's hand is best. Dean with just six high. Let's see if he wants to bluff at it. Represent having a diamond. He does not. Checks it. John happy to just show down. John will collect the second pot in a row. Five days. All right, I'll send it Yeah, got Kirk back in and taking over. Fifteen? Yeah, you're good. Gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> What's up? Here. Uh, yeah. Current leading the way is Don Nato away from the table there in the four seat. Followed by Sam. Been pretty quiet there in the middle. Players did go off to a double board hold a bomb pot. Check. They've been doing it on every dealer change. So Don actually just bet out and everyone folded. So Don going to drag a small pot. One bet and a double board bomb pot. I don't think we've seen a one bet take it down in a bomb pot yet tonight. Wait, Don took down a bomb pot? He did. I might have to check the tapes. <laughs> I see uh, Tana has uh, left as well. Uh, Tana wanted to stay and play longer, but uh, with him being uh, one of the main figureheads for Run Good, he uh, actually had to uh, go because he had to do a video call. Busy man, Tana. I appreciate him playing on the live stream members nonetheless. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. Dean 
put in a 3-bet from the button with pocket 10s. John with King Jack suited. He wants to come along, putting in the call. Donk Nato getting a pretty good price for the suited connectors. Don pocket trays. It's in the call as well. Action back to Donk Nato. I can't imagine he's going anywhere for only 100 more. Yeah, especially since there's four of the players in there. He's getting pretty good uh, odds for his money right now. Four ways. Whoa. Nine high flop. Nine seven tray. Don. Donk Nato top pair. Dean over pair. Don bottom set. Yep. Here and we go. John with two overs and a backdoor to spades. And John get out of there when Dean fires the continuation bet when it checks to him. Might see. Oh, we might see Don put in a flat call, get into rainbow board. But yeah. He's, Zeddy. he's trying to pump it up. And Zeddy Lex to put in the raise to 600. Nato getting out of there with top pair now. And a backdoor to Diamonds, too. But he does let it go. Yeah, Don called. Don Nato is happily going to get in there, maybe even check raise himself. Like you said, backdoor Diamonds. Additionally, the backdoor straight draw. Go with his top pair. Given this action. Pretty sure he's not best. Now, what's Dean want to do with his pocket tens? Looks like he's putting in some calling chips. He does put in the call. Off are going to go to a turn. Five of hearts. Pretty good turn card for Don to see. Could be an opportunity Don was looking for. He's been running rough pretty much most of this night. But right now he's in a prime position here. Dean's tens stay in over pair to this board. Don does make it 1,200, about two thirds the pot. It's going to be hard for Dean to get away from it here. Yeah, considering his over pair, looks like his tens could potentially still be good here. Again, Don did just cold call out of the straddle position. Don Nato originally opened. Dean put in the three bet. Don just called. Don could have a lot of suited connector type hands. You know, 9 8, similar to what we saw Nato holding. 7 6, which would keep firing like this. Even 4 5. A lot of things that connected well with this board that would continue putting pressure. Don obviously been mixing it up a lot tonight, too. I think that's where. A little bit more of the doubt creeps in. Yeah, it's been a little a normal more normal. Yeah, yep. I, mean, I think a normal night, Don's kind of more laid back. You might find a fold here a little bit easier. Right. But how aggressive he's been. He's been putting people in tough spots. Well, Just it's also, like this. Well, it's also, too, like, he, considering he was stuck for most of the stream, too, playing behind the eight ball a little bit. So he had to be a little more aggressive than normal. At the same time, if you're Dean, you might be using some of this time to think about what you want to do on the turn, <laughs> given how deep these players are. Good, good. Could go a lot of ways on different river cards. Goes with a raise. Looks like a min click. Exactly what it is, 2400 now. 24? Now Don's wheels are going to turn. He puts in the call pretty quickly. Pot's so starting to open up a little bit more. 6600 in the middle. And a four on the river. And that's going to slow both players down. Yeah, four liners out there. Don checks it. Dean's going to probably just check it back. Well, Don finds the shove. An immediate fold from Dean. 
So I was going to scoop down a decent sized pot. That might have got him unstuck. I would bet so. Probably up about 2K now. <laughs> I think he was in for 13 and it said he has a stack of 15. Yeah. If I remember right. Sounds about right. <laughs> Big pot. Poor Don. One of the biggest ones we've seen tonight. Definitely the biggest pot we've seen that didn't go to showdown. Right. Uh, there was over 6K in the middle. Still both players more than a uh, pot size bet behind heading to that river. All right, so answering Leonardo's question. You have a uh, high hand is 300 every 30 tonight till 2 a.m. Also, uh, bear with the uh, action tracker, a.k.a. me on this hand. I was a little confused of what was happening. <laughs> so. They'll get caught back up, though, I promise. <laughs> Just bear with it a minute. <laughs> that was definitely not a bluff. Okay, so. calls and then both Do I say Yeah. There you go. Like I said, just bear with it. These heads up between uh, Dean and Sean here. Yep. <laughs> 50 bucks a piece. Heads up for the flop. King, Queen, Six. All spades on board. Neither player holding a speed. spade. Dean's top pair of C beds and takes it down. Quick one. Quick one. Yeah. Like I said, just bear with me. It would have. I, I had to readjust something in there and got fixed. Okay. And then right after that, I was uh, taking care of a buy-in for Dean or for uh, Perry as well. We're going to see Don raise it up to 40 from the small blind with Queen 10 suited. Kevin really think the book going to also a call in position with the 10 8. <laughs> Down King Queen 7, Rainbow. Don assembling a continuation bet. Does fire out 75. Looks like that's going to be good enough to take it down. Good, Neither player wants to raise or bluff at it. So pot goes Don Way as we see Perry come back. Looks like uh, he stuck to the cage while he was gone. Hopping off. Adding on. Looks like another 5K in chips. He doesn't want to play short stacks on this table. Hard to blame him. The majority <laughs> of these players are very, very deep stacked. A lot of them hovering around the 10k plus mark. One of which, Don, is going to start off the action here. Raise it up to Ace. Raising it up to 75 with Ace Jack suited. He was first back because Perry straddled in from the cutoff. Don Nato with fours from a small blind. He's going to put in a three bet. Don going to be the only caller. You guys are going heads up. 350 apiece to 987. Rainbow flop. Don Nato, first to act. That's a three better. Just going to check it. Don going to check it back. Board pairing eight. Spades on the turn. Don Nato's hand is still best. Continues to check. Don, happy to check it back. Now Ace, on the river, going to give Don the best hand. Don Nato want to represent that Ace, though. He did three bet pre flop. See, he's thinking about it. Check. Instead, checks it over to Don. He's going to fire out a little bit of a value bet. Now 
Don Tornado's got to think. Any chance Don has King Queen, King Jack, Queen Jack, any of those type of hands? Might throw out a bluff here. <laughs> After some deliberation, we do see Don Nato just let it go. Not a good run out for his hand. Donnie. Taken down another pot. Continues. Chip up. Pat, his stats for the night. They're making a great comeback. He's now in Profitville. It's Donnie. Small blind. Oh no, yeah. He's coming through. I mean, he was sniped, basically. He's picking the best spots that were clear. He did make it 25 to go. John did call. And both flopped a pair as it came down to 10 6. John with the ace, Dean with the 10. Dean checked it over. John threw out a bet of 50. And that's going to take this pot down. Looks like uh, Dean is focused on uh, his uh, item that he's ordered, whatever that is. Hey you guys again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. Five ten no in the home cash game. We got about an hour and fifteen minutes here. left in the live stream. Appreciate you guys being with us. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, if you like what you're watching, enemies. if you're liking what you're seeing, they give you beer. <laughs> please hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for when we do go live. Especially since you don't want to miss out on final table action Sunday night for the main event. I know I don't. As of now, 32 players remain in day 1B. Again, we'll be taking it to either the end of level 14 or 12.5% left of the field, which is 185. So it would be 24 players you will be taking from day 1B at least. This is almost what happened when he got that one hand with uh, aces earlier. Uh, would John have an ace queen? <laughs> Changed. Changed the whole dynamic. Uh, Don, Don Nato, go ahead and put in the call. We see the case. Hopefully for the same result. Yeah, yeah case ace coming out again. No, but it's a jack. It is a jack for Don Nato, so he does catch a piece of it. So he'll stick around a minute. I'm betting 200. Yep, there's the call. Nine on the turn. Now spades are out there. Don slowing down and checking. Don made a check in back for Jack. And we are at the river. Did you go check, check? And the river looks like it's a. Trying to see. 600. But Don does bet 600. A pretty safe river card for yeah. pairing nine. Yep, and Don scoops up a, another pot there with aces. Takes down that one. 
Crossing right around a thousand on that hand is Don. Yep, so got he's definitely max, got so the max on the river, that's for sure. He did, so he's definitely unstuck now, which is better than he was. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to have a hand in the straddle. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a long night like of that. you picking on my straddle. <laughs> does have a slightly better kicker than Don. Perry with his gutter, let it go. Jack on the turn, now Spade draws out there. Five on a river. John with two pair now. Two pair. Don gonna fire out. I'm sure you win. And John does call, and John says, Of course, you're going to win. 5-6, uh, I think, is also good without the two there. The six. Oh, my God. Chris was right. Hey, you went to River Gun, yeah, if Perry was so in a hand, he actually would have ripped it straight. He did have Trey Deuce. Steady folded, so he received squad duty. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Instead, he wins nothing. Well, he does bat button straddle this hand, so. He does, which is music to Don's ears. Don's been trying to get somebody's straddle for a while. Although Don probably would have preferred straddle under the gun. You get a button straddle from Perry here. And unfortunately, Queen Deuce, not a hand he wanted to continue with. Instead, it'll be Don and Sam heads up in a three bet pot. 8 10 Queen. So, a pair of Queens for Don. Sam, though. Double gutted. Double gutted indeed. We call that the double belly buster. He'll be looking for one of Don's kings. Bad for Don if he hits. The go back call. Ace does show up for Sam. Good now, check, check. Sam is going to get the check mark here. Check. Eight hundred. Can't beat this guy. Can't beat this guy. Put in the call. Looks him up. He's had a tough time beating uh, Dean and Sam tonight. I know he got the one big pot against Dean a few hands back, but those two have been uh, the players that Don has had a tough time beating tonight. Why do I keep paying you off, sir? Crazy. Forty race. First to act was Dean. Open things up to forty under the gun with seven five suited. See John put in the call. Somebody else pulls around a John's button. <laughs> this guy has been in the call. That's right. Sounds he has really a shark's tooth in front of him. <laughs> you won't miss him. Raise three. Yeah, I'm going to three bet with the ace four suited. Pretty big raise. How small blind. It's going to work. Takes uh -huh. it down. Again, just a reminder the next big promotion happening for Best Bet Jacksonville. 24K day. It's going to be happening on Friday, March 29th. $500 high hands first 30 minutes. $1,000 high hands last 30 minutes every hour from 10 a.m. until 2 a.m. 
lot of people are going to be here for that one. As always, guys, you can check out our website, bestbetjacks.com, for all the details on the promotions, tournaments, live stream schedule, and much more. The April promotions and April tournament schedules are up as well for both. I guess we know you got a player, huh? Oh, excuse me, all three rooms. Of course, uh, St. Augustine has their 30K guarantee single day event happening on Saturday the 30th. And then the week end after that, the GoPo 400 happening on Sunday, April 7th. $400 buy-in, 40K guarantee in the prize pool for that event. And then after that, the multi-day stack that's going to be taking place in the middle of April over at Best Bet St. Augustine. I think actually the weekend after that one. On top of that, there will be a Best Bet Live meetup game happening down at Best Bet St. Augustine on April 11th. Stay tuned for more details in that game. So yeah, lots of things coming up on across the board for all three rooms. Spade draw and club draw are out there, which Perry has the nut flush draw. Action continues to check on the turn. Check through on the flop after being 3-bet free. Donk did uh, turn a 7, so he's got a pair of 7s, which is what's in the lead. That's out. Gets Ace King to let it go. Perry going to put on the call for plus draw. Hits it. Comes in. Does pair the board, though, so it's going to go check, check. Mm. Yeah. Pretty good quick check back by Donk Nato. Yeah. Perry obviously checked it over, hoping to see a bet. Did it not get it. Perry opening things up, making it 50 to go. Set down pocket tens. Flopping top set is Perry when it comes down 10 7 tray. John did hit a pair of sevens. Might be tempted to put in a call. Sure enough, he does. A lead on the turn. Check it again. Perry gonna fire big again. That's out 600 takes it down. John did not improve on the turn card. Fortunate for him that he didn't. Perry had a hammer lock on that one. They did. Keeping everything going, guys. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. We we'll do another stat check here shortly. It's five ten, no limit hold'em game. Uh, Donald, uh, I'm not sure what you're asking for Orange Park or St. Augustine. Um, if you be a little more specific with your question, I'm be able to answer that better. 
or we can try blind answering it. I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> that came from Mike Kruger. Put in the, put in the blind guess. Yeah, or blind fun. guess. The blind guess, like a blind race. Let's see what we did there. You know, a pocket fives from Perry. It's in the call. John C was the initial three better, the 115. Dockdado, Jack Nine, Jack Nine suited. Finding more and more that this is a hand that a lot of players like to play, and Dockdado's gonna know. put in the four bet. I'm open. Four bet, 400. Uh, the uh, live stream you're watching right now, this is Jacksonville. Dog. It's the Jacks location. Uh, dang it, I shouldn't have said yes. <laughs> Uh, of course, our location is the only location that has a live stream. Yeah, so unfortunately we ran through the rest of our list and uh, there is no more list. Meanwhile, Perry just binks the straight on the turn. Donk Nato, meanwhile, just jack high. Thought he might be tempted to put in a bluff, but fortunately for him he doesn't. And for John, just ace high with a four liner. <laughs> well, pick what you want, Perry. You can either have a set of fives, you can have a straight, or we could just chop this thing all around to everybody. Oh, oh, no. John's going to go all in. He's going to try to take it. Yeah, it he might is. Work. Yeah. Because everyone else is kind of like, oh, we're playing the board. He just ripped 6K into 1K. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Big shove. <laughs> that is well. It's just like, ah, well. No nice. chop here. He said, I should have won on the turn. I'll just go ahead and steal it on the river. <laughs> that also made Kirk's job easy. He didn't have to chop that three ways. <laughs> I think somebody was going to bluff at it if it wasn't him. Right. I think that's why Donk Nato was a little frustrated there. I think he was going to do it. Yeah. That's unfortunate. You see that five come out and puts it straight out on the board. You're holding a pair of fives. This is like, well... This is not good. What is good is that Don is unstuck. Sam's chip count. Sam's nice too. Sam's chip count's really, really good as far as his winnings go. Sam up 5k. Donk Nato up almost 2k. Don, after being stuck 3k most of the night, uh, has now gotten to 1850. And then uh, there you see Kevin even. Dean, Perry, and John all stuck for the night. Yeah. And a look at the V-Pips. 42% for Perry. 41%. And Sam and Kevin, low 20s as well as Don Tomato. Everyone else, 38% and above. As we have now entered our final hour of the live stream. Appreciate you guys being with us. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. It's uh, 874. They, they don't close the one. Yeah, one, one, one. Yeah. Go A box in the six nine. I don't play so on third year. I'm gonna play on the bottom, but I got a really shit kid. I don't hold them up. Don has aces. Don has aces again. Don's had pocket aces. I want to say like massive or five times. Just a few. Yeah. You're supposed to call her, didn't you, two uh, pair? Uh, no, no, no. We call Share with the, the rest of yeah, yeah, thank you. the rest no. of the crowd. The aces. Just for the pot. I've got to have a much better character than me, and I got nothing on the top side. i got to have something, you know what I mean? <laughs> or some resemblance of a draw. I can have a draw. <laughs> <laughs> And a regular Aces one. again? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, at least you saw one of them. At least one. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was and you got paid. You didn't get paid. You got paid. You got paid $5. Hey. Hey, I, hey, I had seven out of four. I don't like to play. So nobody took the seat? Wow, right through it. Come on. There was a big NFC. There was. I was surprised after, I don't, I, I never remember that guy's name. Oh, is it going? 
Oh, I don't know. No, there's probably, there's probably Tempe a logo in, but there's not. That's what I think people, when he came over and said 10.5, I'll bet you, like, the was, majority of them were 5 Tempe a low. Oh, and they're, they're, they're not getting They're not getting I looked, there's only two names. They're even and they're not getting old. They're up, and they're not getting old. Either one. Oh, 25 gold. Big 5 Tempe a low game. I said they're even up or way down. You can't get them all right. Oh, okay. We got four. Um, so, Joseph, I'm going to address that in just a minute. Seven jack five. So a pair of jacks for Dom Nato. Gets there for Sean. Rough for Donkado holding two pair. Yeah, and he's gonna bet again. Fifty, a small fifty. It's not a lot in the middle right now, so. Uh, John does put in a near pot size raise. Kevin with just a pair of fives, <laughs> letting it go. Donk does let go of his hand. All right, so uh, to answer the question, uh, we are actually putting the giveaway on hold for the time being. Um, in talking with uh, Don, we want to revamp the giveaway a little better to make it more advantageous uh, for people as far as entering and everything. So at this moment, the giveaway that Don has been doing is on hold. We will announce when Don will want to elect to do the giveaway again. Uh, but, you know... We've been doing this for almost two years now, and it's kind of time to change things up and kind of revamp it to make it a little better for everybody. So uh, just stay tuned uh, whenever that does get going again. Um, but yeah, we're just uh, trying to figure out a uh, better way and a more fun way for people to try to win 5% of Don's earnings. So it is on hold, but it will be coming back. So just stay tuned uh, for that. I think Don didn't plan on winning tonight, given uh, the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, he's he, didn't put a, he didn't put a lot of thought into it ahead right. of time. Yep. Yeah, so we are going to come up with a uh, more fun way to uh, be able to try to get more people involved uh, to try to win some of Don's earnings, especially with Nightbot, where sometimes Nightbot's been picking the same people over and over. We kind of want to change it up a little bit to where we want to make it more even for everybody else and also trying to make it more fun for everybody so just bear with us as uh, we will try to come up with that along with uh, Don's blessing Perry going to raise it up though at 9 8 offsuit. Oh, I'm Don. Jack 6 suited. He's going to 3 bet. Don's been very active tonight. Getting in the mix. Pushing a lot of the action. In this hand, it's only going to be Perry putting in the call. So they're going heads up. To a 9 high flop. Down 9 6. 9 5 5. So Perry flops. The nine, it just leads right out into Don. Don, he's going to go ahead and let it go. Perry, maybe not a player. He wants to try bluffing. Perry's been a little stuck and a little sticky throughout the night. Not the type of player you want to try to push around. Especially when you got... Not so good holding like Don had. 
Sam looking to spike a deuce. He does not want to pop these 995. Dean the pre flop three better. He's going to see bet for 100, about half pot. Sam just going to let it go. Taking down another pot there. We're seeing Dean get into too many huge pots. A lot of hands like that, three betting, C betting. this time around. Well, the straddle in play from Don E under the gun. And Don's going to be the only caller as he sticks around with ace 10. Catches a 10 on the flop. It's clean 10 5. Two diamonds on the board, neither player with a diamond in their hand. Bonk just going to check it back. The seven of clubs turn. Freezing goes check check yet again. Tray of hearts on the river. Don throws out a hundred dollar bet. Don't just gonna fold. <laughs> I mean, it's not enough to like, but it called the actual number. No. <laughs> no. I'll give you a solid beat. That was bad. Alright, we got one blind right now, one blind on the Bend the gold, bolt into trees. Bolt into forces. We're on a Dean, looks like he's gonna try to steal this one. Raising it up with Jack 8 offsuit. Doesn't get through John as he puts in the call. And Kevin going to defend his big blind, puts in the call as well. On three ways to ace King King. Kevin flops three of a kind. Checks it over. Dean elects not to see bet. John going to stab. Kevin obviously going nowhere, puts in the call. Off they go to an ace on the turn. Just goes check, check to another king on the river. It's a quad for Kevin here. That's just going to bet for value. He gets to take it down. Shows the quads. Not enough chips in the middle for his liking. <laughs> Oh, 
Dean's going to open things to 50 this time around. Clean nine of clubs. John calls in position with a 5-4. Harry put in the call to Queen 10. See those three going to the flop. Queen 7-7, seven, seven. rainbow flop. So both Dean, both Dean and Perry flopping top pair. Action checks around on eight of diamonds on the turn. Ace on the river. Gonna solidify a chop between these two. I mean, we get to show down as Perry bets out. Dean to decide whether he wants to call, which he does. instruction manual or the Joker, which I'll fix everything. I was just fully expecting him to be not, he's one notch step every night. I mean, I'll wave hands up. Yes, sir, I had a little bit. Fully expecting to be one notch step on. He ain't give a shit about the age. Oh. All right, we're going to straddle in the 25 again. You really want to be picky about, like, uh, running bad. I mean, running bad is hitting the ace. Because that's what allowed the chop. Because you had him destroyed. Uh, uh, not big bad. Sam's three bed. Gets the job done. Think he's suited. Think he's three bed from Sam. He's obviously been on the quieter side of things tonight. Right now, that sneaks in a bluff like that. Just want him to give him a lot of credit since he hasn't had to show any. I was. On Dean this time around, getting the mix of the straddles. A couple of players elect to do it. Perry gonna bump it up with 7 5 suited Don. He's 10 on the button. Gonna put in the call. Dean gonna call as well. So, three ways we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. All three players very deep stacked. Ball comes down to King Jack 4, 2 hearts. A couple of straight draws. Dean open ended Don with a gutter ball. They all check around with Deuce on the turn. Continuing to check through over to Don on the button. He just checks it back as well. To another Deuce on the river. So Don's ace high is the best hand. Well, somebody wants to bluff at it. At it, Dean does, reaching for chips. Goes with a two-third pot size bet. Don feels like something is up here. Puts in the call with the ace high. He's gonna pick off a bluff. Ace high, river call from Don. They're rewarded dragging in this 500. We need, we need each other's cards. I didn't have nothing to call. I didn't have nothing to call. Some nice call by Don there. Just melt it in the air. Is 
got the tournament pressure, Dickie Malone. Dickie Malone. <laughs> yes, sir, I'm a guy. What's up? How you doing? Hey, buddy. How you doing, brother? Brother, we good. Yeah, we good, man. man. Good. Damn you, stack. Damn. <laughs> you don't want to. I mean, this is about oh, even. Man. I'm not <laughs> lying to you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not been, it's not been what it appears to look like. <laughs> From outside appearances, it looks right, like it's doing real well. This yeah. is. <laughs> He's not lying. Don is telling the truth when he says he's working about even. All right, we got four of you. He's going to try to get better than even here. Goes off to an ace high flop, ace eight six. Don with a pair of aces. Dean, though, going to see bad. With his pocket tens into multiple opponents. He's going to get through everybody with Don. You see Don flicking the call. He go heads up to an eight of hearts on the turn. Don now to not flush draw. And imagine he'll be going anywhere if he continues firing. Continuing firing, he does. That little one fifth pot. Turn blocker sizing. Dom's just gonna call. Now another eight on the river, filling up both players. Don obviously best. He goes with about a half pot size bet. Looking for a little bit of value if Don has a weaker pair than him. Maybe something like a six in his hand. Don, just trying to figure out if he can raise for value here. Race. And he's going to go for it. Race, Hoping to get looked up by a hand like what Dean has. Dean, not falling for it. Flashes the 10, lets him go. 11. Nobody freaking wants to go home. Sit down. There's an empty seat. What are you talking There's about? Been There's been an empty seat. Called, they called you. There's been an open for an hour. Like, it, like 30, 45 minutes ago. Uh, you guys are stopping at 11? Yeah. Well, we can play, we can play we can play there are long. people that are probably going to keep playing. I might not. I got, you know, following. So, <laughs> on Sunday. This is like 15 deep now, so. Is there? What? No. He's got it. He's not playing. He would have taken it already. <laughs> Jimmy two. Ten to go. Four to books in the one. So first act on the gun, Kevin. Gonna raise over the King Queen. Call two hundred. Harry. Gonna put in the call. Me. King five suited. Huh? I don't know what I guess. What a donk NATO. Ace Queen off. Oh, is that John? Yeah. Yeah. They call it. He is gonna three bet it. 175 and wearing a hat. It's at 175 total. Back around to Kevin. I'm gonna put in the call. Perry. He's gonna accept the invite to this party. Puts in the call, closing the action. Three ways. So haste queen dudes flop. Monster for Tornado. Flopping top two. Kevin with just the second pair. Backdoor diamonds. One side back. There goes the small C bed. Kevin's gonna call. Let's see Perry get out of there. See if Kevin can pick up any equity on his turn. He does when it comes to the eight of diamonds. Checks it over. Let's see how much Dontnado wants to make it. Pot 400 snap called by Kevin. Now 10 of hearts on the river. Kevin misses his diamond draw. Nato has to be thinking he's going to go for value here. How much can he get looked up by? The way this hand is played out. Have to put Kevin on. 
some sort of pair of aces, so ace of diamonds. Hard to imagine he's got the candy he actually has. I have my next. I imagine Dominado is going to size the target. A one pair. Instead, thinks he can't get looked up by much worse and checks it back. Yeah, I should have slammed it. Nice time. Almost. going to pick up almost a thousand. In profit on that hand. I know. No, I said I almost slammed it. No, when he said nice hand. Did you say I know? I didn't mean like that. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm what? Sorry. No. I, I, didn't, I didn't know you said that. I, I thought you meant, yeah, you should have. I thought you were answering my question. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. I should have. Damn. Yeah. I got scared of ruthless. No, I, I did not hear you. Sure, I Blink of an eye, we're going five ways for 75 apiece. Eight, eight, six, two, spade, flop. John T flops open ended, Dean no. flops yeah, flush draw. Yeah, Action checks all the way around. Also, a king on the turn. That's what I usually do. You give Kevin the best hand now to King Jack. John C going to bet out this open ender now. Does Kevin calls. Action folds over to Dean. His flush draw. See him put in the call. So three ways to the river we go. The nine of hearts. So the back door flush comes in, not the front door. Both John and Dean hit a nine. Not improving the way they were hoping, but every player checks it around. John and Dean both probably don't think they need to bluff at it. Kevin. Kevin's going to take this pot with his king. I'll play. I think I'll call him king. Oh, sorry, I'll leave it alone. Uh, yeah. well, that wasn't the question, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So the, the reason why I'm asking is because there's another five ten list for having one of the streams done or anything. So whoever does want to continue playing, uh, we're gonna it's gonna be going on table nineteen. So you guys since you started, you guys will have the preference to go to nineteen and then I'll let Tommy know how many seats. The, the question I think they're gonna ask, can they, since it's on the floor, can they bring their same stack? Is it the same game or do it's they have to go back to it? It'll be a continuation of the same game. Let me double check that. I'm wondering if I can if I could go back to five hundred. <laughs> Like I mean, it, <laughs> technically, the, the floor games, no. especially, they're not even on the list for this game, so it's a different game, which would be interesting. Oh, I see the straddle on. Sam going to raise it up to 75 with King-7 suited. They all fold around at Don. He's going to defend with the Queen Jack of Clubs for sure. Those are Zach's put in the call. So they go to a king high flop, king Check. six, tray two spades, Sam. Top pair. Good C bet when checked over to him. Don't fold his queen high. Sam will drag that pot. Alright, so to answer your question, since it's only gonna be a couple, what it will be is it will be the 3k cap on that one, so you guys will just come in for the 3k. So they can't, can they come in for less than three? That is fantastic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can they come, come in for less than three? I just like playing like 1,500. I don't think that's the way it's going to be. So, it's a very different game. Then you're going to get the uncapped, but since it's only like two or three, he's just going to treat it as a new game, but you guys will be able to go to the top of the list. That's pretty good. Good for you guys. John gonna raise up with the ace ten suited. Kevin calling from the button with the eight six. 
Eric coming along with the King Jack to Don. Letting it go. King six of hearts. Alright, we got three. So three ways to a flop. Comes Jack, ten deuce, two spades on board. Harry top pair, John second pair. Harry bets out full pot, 225. John's gonna call. Now I'm stealing. Jesus. Gotta get out of there. We see a nine of hearts on the turn. Harry's hand is still best. I mean, it gets me in trouble too, but. Check, check, touch nine of diamonds on the river. Very bets for value, and it looks like John's gonna put in the call. John's gonna get the bad news, and Perry is gonna get a nice hot push his way. Uh, uh, yeah, so um, not all the players are going to continue playing afterwards, but there is a 510 list that's up on the board before. Um, so basically, what ended up happening was the uh, players are going to keep playing. Uh, we're just moving them over to table 19, then we're going to backfill, and it's going to be a brand new 510 game that will start off with a cap. Wow. Uh, 55 PK, um, I discussed this earlier. Um, I know you probably just joined the, cha uh, joined the stream and everything, but uh, for now, Don's giveaway is on hold. Uh, we are going to try to come up with a way to... Uh, make it better for everybody. So it's more or less like a revamp. We've been doing a giveaway for over two years, and uh, this is uh, through what Don wanted to do. Uh, Don basically wanted to revamp the giveaway to make it more advantageous for people to uh, have an opportunity to win the uh, giveaway. So until we uh, revamp things and uh, discuss things with Don and see what he wants to do or anything, the giveaway is going to be on the hold for the meantime. Meanwhile, how can you put your name on the list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he still wants to be in the top of the list. People. Yep. So there's the V pips. 42%. John just actually left the game, so he's no longer in. Uh, but that's the way the V-Pips look as we are in our final 30 minutes of the live stream. And then there's a look at the earnings. Yeah, Don worked his way of being unstuck. Uh, Sam, though, is the big winner. Don Nato also up a bit as well. Uh, John ended up being the most stuck. So there we go. That's the... Uh, Way things look with 30 minutes left to go in the live stream. Really, he must hate him more than I do. Second queen seven on the top, deuce queen ace on the bottom. I feel like if you have a queen, you're doing pretty good. Or if you have a seven, you have the top one lined up like Perry. Actually, Perry got, has a boat. He has queen seven. Got it all. Yeah, he has it all. So yeah, he had he had the two best cards you could possibly want in that bomb pot. Queen and a seven. Takes it down. But also like. The way we were doing it was the keyword, and sometimes Nightbot would uh, select the same person over and over. Or I remember one time it selected the very last person that entered the giveaway a couple times. So while it was supposed to be randomized and everything, sometimes Nightbot was not doing that the way it was supposed to. So yeah, we're going to try to figure out something better. Uh, and again, this is uh, something that Don had asked. And requested so until we figure out a better procedure to give everyone an opportunity 
Uh, that is uh, the way it's going to be for now. Uh, so the whole uh, giveaway will be on hold until uh, Don is uh, able to come up with a better idea or a better way to be able to do the giveaway. You're done too? You're going home? Back to the... 45 to go. You can't get any more of my But you can get some of mine. Well, you're going to have to wait until tomorrow. So, 6, 45 to go. Alright. 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 Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. So appreciate you guys watching. We are almost done with tonight's live stream. starting to die down a little bit now with uh, about 20 minutes left to go in this live stream. Very flopping monster here with top and bottom. Wow. Fortunately, nobody has a hand we're speaking of. Kevin did stab at the flop. Harry raised it up. on raises it up with a7 Kevin just gonna call the ace queen out of the big blind it's not the three bet Joaquin Jack nine and six check, check to a jack on the turn Kevin bets Don's gonna put in the call both sitting with ace high but Kevin's ace high is better with the queen play, and the queen will still play. Oh wow, Sam made the trip from Miami, huh? All right. Straight drive. <laughs> it is that. It's a long straight drive. It is very uh, much. Made longer. Probably make that drive next month myself. Sneaky suspicion. I'm not sure what drive I would prefer. That one or the long drive down I-10. Probably the 95 one though. Depends where you're going. <laughs> this is also Whichever true. the better destination. Yeah, this is also true. Check, check. All right, open ender for Sam. to the straddler at Donato and five tray offsuit. It's like he is going to defend. Puts in the call. 
Okay. Feed them two heads up to an ace and jack. Seven flop, went check, check to another jack on the turn. Let's see if Dean's under repping of his hand can get Donkey to bet it all, but Donkey doesn't. Continues to check. Dean puts out the value bet, takes it down. Vegas. It's, I used to play a lot there. I used to travel around. Um, I feel like but I, at some point. Yeah. Um, but I. Twenty-five to go. There's just so much here. Yeah. I hate travel. Expensive. You could come to us now. So. <laughs> I am going to Colorado. Married. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, I, I love traveling. I can get away from her. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Nato's turn with Ace King and he's going to raise and take it. Doesn't make as much back with his Ace King. He lost to it in the last hand. Now we got a big raise coming in. Donato's to ace five suited. For Don, he originally raised with the sevens. Don on the button would get to play this in position. It's a sizable four bet from Donato. Here comes the call from Don. These two heads up to the flop. 700 in the middle. He's down King Jack Trey. Two spades on board. Let's see if Don Nato wants to continue firing big at it. Does in fact take it down. Swamp when it comes down, he's high. He's Trey Deuce. He checks over to Perry. He's up ships for a C bet. When he throws it out, Dean's going to get out of there. <laughs> it's like a Sunday night. Perry C bet gets the job done. His king high was best. Obviously, he doesn't know that when he's making a C bet, but. We did that night. Sure enough, it is. He just hates he's taking that pot down. Straddle makes it 75 to go. We're going to see 
Dean and Perry putting in calls. So an ace, ace, four, rainbow flop. Nobody sitting here with an ace. Check. Dean's pocket fives Check. are best at the moment. Check around. Action checks through to a jack hitting on the turn. So now Dalton in the lead. Dean going to fire out with his pocket fives. After Perry folds, hard to imagine Dalton is going anywhere. Turning the two pair. We're actually going to put in a raise. Trying to see if Dean has a jack with the worst kicker possibly. We're going to see Dean just get out of there. Let's go with his pocket fives. Drag that one in. If we do wind down, I'll say thanks to everybody for tuning in, hanging out with us here on Friday night for this 5-10 No Limit Hold'em game. Come to you live from Best Bet in Jacksonville, Florida. We're just about wrapping up our main event weekend, the Run Good Poker Series. Got Flight 2, day one going on in the background. Getting close to the bag. Third flight will be tomorrow at noon. Day two on Sunday, where we'll bring back the uh, final table when they get down to the final nine here on the live stream. Hoping to watch a good final table on Hold Sunday up. night. Hey! a boy. Wow, what a turn card in the five of hearts. Gave Perry three of a kind. Good to see you, man. After the Keep flop action went check, check. Sam was trying to set the trap. Man. I think he did this set is it. Deceiving. But Perry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm all right. In a better hand. It could have been worse. <laughs> Still River comes to check. Action goes check, check. Sam doesn't go for value. And kicker gets counterfeited. Like the corner shouldn't it for him. He did not. Perry had a monster. Thanks, Perry gonna take a small pot there. Perry's been chipping away at his losses on the night. Kevin, Kevin, where are you from here? Yeah. What's a good place to golf that's like kind of cheap? Like 80 bucks. 90 bucks. I play up in Amelia Island. That's where I live. It's How far like, is that from here then? It's like four yeah. hours. I'm doing that. Yeah. Close to the same time. Friday. Yeah. 75. Dean is going to open things up with a jack ten of spades. At this point, the guys have just made the $25 straddle mandatory, so it's five, ten, and a quarter. That's why we're seeing this $75 open as the new norm. Kevin called with Jack 7 suited from the button. Don Nato gonna put in the three bed with pocket nines out of out of the straddle spot. Dean's gonna call. Let's see if Kevin wants to come along. Now he'll get to play in the in position on the button multi-way. Might not accept the invitation. How short stacked he is relative to the other two. If he was deeper, he'd be put in the call already. Well, he's putting in the call. So three ways we go. About a thousand in the middle. Flock comes down. Jack high. Jack seven four. So two pair for Kevin. Disastrous top pair for Dean. Kevin in position with a monster hand. First up is Dolph Nato. He was the three better pre-flop, so he's gonna throw out the continuation bet. Just with a small size, which is fortunate for him since inevitably those chips are gonna go away. Action on Dean now. No 
know he's not folding with top pair. Just gonna call. Now Kevin wants on a pot side shove behind. Seems like a pretty slam dunk decision of all in coming. And there it is, all in from Kevin. Easy grip it and rip it for him. Top two pair, especially facing this action. Did you hear Dunk Nato asking for a count? This looks a lot like a club flush draw. It'd be so easy to believe he's on it. Dunk Nato might be able to get away here with a player still to act behind him. At the same time, if you think Kevin's just trying to get it in there, find a double up. There is the call. So now action back on Dean. Stuck between a rock and a hard place now. The three flop three better puts in the call here. Looks incredibly strong. So we're gonna see Dean let it go. So here we go, off to the run out. Kevin's got a fade of nine, which he does. His two pairs best, and he's gonna find a huge pot getting shipped his way. Massive pot. like that, Kevin, way more than a double up, finds a huge pot, getting thrown his way with that top two pair. Also, Troy, what's up, man? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. See you in the Facebook chat. All right, guys, so yeah, we are going to be wrapping things up in about 10 minutes here. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. It's 5-10, Nolan Mahodam game. Of course, the next time you will see us will be main event final table on Sunday night. No live stream tomorrow night because of the fact we had a Monday live stream at the women's event and then the ambassador event this past Tuesday. So, again, we'll be back at it. With that final table for the main event. Can't wait. Donis and uh, Mike Kruger will be doing the commentary and production. And the dealers uh, for that are going to be Jacob and Ronan. Queen King Rainbow Board. John bets with his open ender and used to take it down. That's about to take the game. Also, again, like I said, guys, the April promotion and tournament schedule is up on the website. You can go to bestbetjacks.com to check out all those promotions and tournaments we got coming up. It's going to be a GoPo, a multi day St. Augustine event. Also, a uh, shared promotion in the middle of the month between all three rooms. It's going to be on a Friday, Saturday. Action packed month. Mm -hmm. Action April, I'd say. Yeah, I like it. The double A. <laughs> double A, Cot. <laughs> Something, like Something like that. All right, Ace Queen for Sam. Three bet at the 300. Pretty sizable three bet. Jacks. He thinks it's a sizable three by two. That's why he hasn't acted right away. Mm -hmm. yeah, because the raise was 75. It's pretty normal. You're right. And then the nor then the pretty large three bet from Sam. Kevin does make the call. So here we go. Ace queen versus Jacks. And what you know it, a queen on the flop. However, 
Does bring out spades for both Sam and Kevin. Sam with the best of it, though. Yep, and that's going to be all she wrote there. Sam's going to have the check mark. Be hard for Kevin to get away from one bet here, holding the third nut flush. While we see him put in the call. Now seven pairs the board. Devalues those flushes a bit. Sam bets a thousand. Real interesting because it's hard to put Sam on any sort of full house, so it's either the nut flush or nothing here. Kevin. Looks like he's lining up calling chips. Miller trying to decipher. Would Sam check a flop with with a big spade? And he did three bet pre. He does let it go. Makes the right decision to fold. Good to get away from it there. Real easy to convince yourself that Sam would always continuation bet with an ace of spades. But. All right, so Kirk just made the announcement. We are officially now at final three hands Aww. of the live stream. <laughs> like that, all. They're getting ready to wrap this up, though. Final three. First of those final three, we'll start with Don opening things up with Ace Five of Hearts. Dean happy to call King Queen. Look at Kevin waking up with another big hand. This time he's the one putting in the three bet. Makes it 300 to go. We've seen Kevin get active in the last couple of hands. Maybe people think he's getting a little loosey goosey on the end rail. Sometimes players like to loosen up as the stream ends. Not the case as we see it, but as played, both of them put in the call. Comes down ace, seven, four. Both Kevin and Don flopping the ace. Checks it around. Kevin electing not to continuation bet. Disguise the strength of his hand. Check. Kevin's going to put in a delayed C bet, about half pot. The way this played out, it's going to be hard for Don to fold here. I see him put in the call. We're going to go to a river. Two some clubs. Front door flush misses. If Kevin can extract any more value. Having Don out kicked. That's the way he's trying to figure out. So 1,000 gets called real yeah. quick by Don. So hard to put Kevin on a big ace when he checks the flop. I mean, he did three bet pre flop. A little scary of a maneuver for Kevin to pull off there. Being multi way, giving his opponent a free card, but high variance line gets a high variance outcome in terms of paid off on the river. Uh, I think we got two more hands left in this 5-10 live stream. Again, if you guys liked what you watched, if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for whenever we do go live. Again, appreciate you guys being with us through most of the night. Also appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us as well for the live stream. raise and a couple of calls. King, queen, ten, all diamond flop. Don flops the straight. Dean just got shot to Broadway, but nobody holding a diamond, so they're going to get out of there. Don's yep. bet. He's going to take it. it down. So we are down to our final hand of the night, and then we will bid you all adieu. Ooh, that'd be a good, good Again, appreciate you guys being with us and hanging out with us. Final hand of the
Again, next time we will see you will be Sunday night for final table action of our Destination Run Good main event. Over half a million that prize pool that they're going to be fighting for. Yep. Should be a fun watch. And it looks like level 14 did end for day 1B. So 25 players, uh, one more than the 12.5%, uh, does advance to day 2. So not everyone will be in the money for day 2. It will be a money bubble. Real close. Real close. Do 7-7 seven, seven. flop. Doesn't really hit anybody. I'll check around for this final hand. A six on the turn. Another stupid card for no <laughs> oh, fireworks on the last hand, man. <laughs> I like that. A stupid card. <laughs> Nobody wanted to see that. We don't all hang around for the last hand of the night to see this. This be a check fest. News fest, yeah. Yeah, and there's a Another third seven. seven. Just an action killing run out. Yeah. Maybe Donk's going to stab, though. We could see a bluff here. All right, Donk NATO does put in the bluff. The bluff. Thank God, or something. <laughs> Dean sitting here with ace high. Tough with Don behind him, but not a lot makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so Donk NATO did bet 125. Fold and yeah, Dean fold. thought about it. Really thought about it. I <laughs> did. Whew. But there we go. And that is it. So, again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Here are the final stats. Sam is your big winner. 5500 for him. Kevin up 3000 uh, Donk Nato up 1600 And then Donnie uh, up 711 Yeah. So he was stuck over 3 k about half an hour in. He so was. Good turnaround for Don. Yeah, Perry and Dean uh, do finish stuck. But a few of these players are going to be playing in the... New 510 game that's going to be taking place on uh, table 19. So uh, they're going to keep playing. And uh, that will be it for us tonight, guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. For our dealers tonight, Jacob and Kirk. And for Mike Kruger, Carter Manager, Best Bet Orange Park. My name is Ryan, also known as Country. Again, don't forget tomorrow, uh, Sunday, Sunday night, final table action with the Run Good main event. That is the next time you'll see us. Until then, y'all take care. Be easy. Thanks for watching.